course, I got out. Blah, 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 blah. Let's do this. What's up? What's up? Glad you're here. We can go beat up some snakes now. I'm rewriting the story. We're not doing snakes. I'm doing face. Hmm. Snakes were fighting. I don't think Anchor is a read of it all. We're, uh, we're fighting uh, Lushies now. <gasps> Is what a twist. Lashes. You can't not the lashes and I'm like... Why the hell do you keep talking about... Why? Why do you hate on this poor girl so much? <laughs> Which poor girl? I said I can't I'll leave the Leshies. What are you talking Autumn. about? Autumn. Oh, Autumn. I don't hate Autumn. I just think she's, I just think she's working with the snakes. Or whatever the, ar the overarching evil is in this campaign. I don't hate all look, I don't hate look, all DM, DM, DM. I played, what is that? Um, under Atari, Minus Under Atari. They thought Tammy or Tam, yeah, Tammy was an evil person. No, she is super sweet. I yes, I know. I was running. I was oh, the DM I'm for that, and they kept saying, "Oh, she's I'm sending us down here to die," and I'm like, "No." One yeah. of, of our players wanted to go up there and kill the, her too. Did you also do like the storytelling with the uh, the daters, the two boys? Is what? that familiar? Mm. The the you go on the walk with the uh, the the what are the tieflings that are dating the other tiefling? You know what I'm talking about? I have no the what? I have no so, clue. What is this? And the, He's one, talking the about you, book three. And the thing that you typed to me, did you do the date thing? Do you remember? No. Oh. Is that <laughs> is that a hot legit? Minute. Okay. I mean, you typed up you typed up everything else very well, and that's just one of the other ones. I'm just wondering if it got skipped or not. That was a part that like gave you a, it's a single like paragraph that I turned into several paragraphs, but it's, it was very, oh my, I was like, why? They could have put so much more into this. And it's not that much that I don't like, 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 like Autumn. I, I just don't it. want to see my boy Mooncap get hurt. Well, guys, we're going to do a bit of a uh, recap here. You've been sent to the mansion. I shared the calendar with someone recently. It was, was it you? Uh, it was in chat. It was in chat, yeah. Also in full chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you kind of understand like the timing of what's going on right now. Yep. You guys are on that 13th. Um, it's been a full week, essentially, since uh, the information given to you by what's going on with uh, Frog Legs. You were given a mission to head to the manor because you're conservants, and it's easier to get into here and not really make splashes, but you don't have to worry about towing the edge of politics as much. Because a lot of people can go, oh, they're conservants. They, they don't know any better sort of thing but now that we figured out what the truth is we can back it up it's plausible deniability kind of like black site uh, you know sites where you are have you have been given permission but if shit goes wrong they can go oh you should have known better because politics is politics but you've been sitting here to essentially have the mayor answer for his absences recently and also to see if there's any warrant to the Testaments that you've heard from several sources that something isn't quite right with the mayor. He doesn't seem like he's himself. Is he being dominated? Is he even here? No one's really seen him. Of course, when you arrived, snake people, if you will. One thing we are going to recant back on that I've already done. One of these snake, the girl, the caster lady, <laughs> in that last round before she fully escaped, would have done something different. She would have offered a surrender. If you spared her life and let her go, she would give you fair, fair trade information. Before she decided to tell her. Mm -hmm. Works for me. We were trying to be diplomatic, so yeah. Kate crosses his arms, not happy, but nods. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, she asks you to step away from the door, get over to the benches so that she can get away. <laughs> you, don't have hey. to you don't have to mechanically do it, just tell me if you're doing it. Oh, yeah, right. yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we're, yes. we're good people. Mm -hmm. She gets to the door and she, like, like he's gonna like open it and like leave. And she will say to you over her shoulder. Dallas ordered me to board the manor. I don't like going outside much, and I was happy to leave uh, the protection to the grounds to the granite scales outside. The 
mistress, you'll find her further in. Look, we've spent too long undercover. Although impersonating humanoids is something superfolk do very well, it's normally in smaller groups for more focused missions. Many of us in the manor are starting to think that the mistress doesn't really have a plan and is too deeply involved in her impersonation to keep the mission in Antonbu on track. Fear of her power keeps many of us in line for now, but all of us here, save for Salathus, are increasingly eager to leave the city. Why do you... Leaves. Oh, okay. What's well, information? That is it's like yeah. all the snakes are agreeing with it. Whatever mission's been going on, they don't agree with. And it's something except you guys for know. One, except for one, yeah. Snakes are very good about getting in somewhere, getting something, and getting out. Prolonged exposure, not something. Yeah. So whatever really they're really looking for here, they weren't. They haven't got <coughs> it yet, and it's taking too long. Mm -hmm. Good to know, at least. All right, this water here is it? How how, how much is how much is there? Mikey King or Eric, we're just with some fiery and, um... Oh, yep, science game. Uh, I've been pulled up my notes, so I'll retell you. Gotcha. Okay. G2. <sighs> Went to this water collects the pools on the marble floor, particularly the east end, where the curve step is sent to do two doors. Um, I think the water is three it's deepest right in the door. If so it rains, but if you're, if you're about three feet or so, you're going to be swimming, which is dancing. Well, dancing is riding dog. Or... Right at the doors. Now, you're, you you have to believe if the water is as deep here, it might be deeper or just as deep for the right of it. On the outside, just so you can have an idea of that, because remember I read that to you if you don't remember. Um, it's somewhere in here. I mean, the water over here. Yeah, the flood waters range from ankle deep at the edges to five feet deep near the manor walls on the outside. That's everyone swimming. Mm -hmm. That's everyone swimming, pretty much. Yeah. Or if you're trying to walk it, it's greater difficult terrain if you're about five feet or so. If you've ever actually been in water almost up to your neck, you're like doing that little bob jump thing, which I love yeah. doing, by the way. When I go swimming, I love that little hop shit. I love it. It feels so cool, but, uh, yeah, that's what you do. the bots when scrolls or water walking, but we did not, so... Oh, you mean those spells that I recommend in every game? <laughs> you know, you know, basically, <laughs> you, you, can keep, you can keep bringing it up to the full casters here. Uh, full casters, uh, uh, I have Airwalk for myself, but, I'm uh, sorry. Airwalk is so good. I got Airwalk for Mariah, but I don't know about you guys. <laughs> As a reminder, these tables, there's a few of them, actually. There's a few stacked up together, subbed into the side, and these have been pushed over here. Mm -hmm. And it looks like at one point, people were, like, trying to save the furniture, keeping it away from the water. But that process is probably ended a while back. Hmm. I yeah. do find it weird that they had this, like, outside closet here, but then they have, like, a whole other part that they couldn't, like, round off out here. It's pretty even. It's a pretty even manner. And I love, like, symmetry when it comes to the buildings. It just doesn't ever make any sense, and it doesn't mention what was ever there. Question. And of course, mm -hmm. you guys, mm -hmm. you guys can't forget this shit because they. Yeah. I don't oh, know why. Yeah. <laughs> <You> know? <laughs> mm -hmm. It wouldn't matter. Session in this book. They right. done it a lot. I've seen a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's take these guys off. I think we're fully healed, are we? Yeah. I think yes. you are too. Yes, right. We did that right at the end of the other one. Let me reset your points real quick. Am I still yes. sticking to the slow one? Oh, that was why you're inside the uh the cloud. Okay. You're good to go. You know what? Um, dancing. I'm gonna take your hero points and give them to Don. Don can I only use them for their own stuff. You don't have any. How's that? Okay. Yeah. Great. You're you're welcome. So he does use half of them. <laughs> Just like in our room. Try. Can we use the wood to like surf, like surfboard or something? Right? Can we? Wood floats in the water. Are you afraid of water? <laughs> ah, Mooncap. Afraid of water? You know, I swim every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, let's, see. Come over. let's take these items to see if they have any magical on them. Those are pretty much tables. A, a lot of plywood in real life might be able to do something like that, but heavy oak, which most woods are, you know, is yeah, tables. Yeah, 
they, they would sink. They, and also, all it takes is for a little bit of water to get on one side because they're not made into bowls. They would, it would, it would just, it'd be gone at that point. It would do that whole weird boat capsize thing and go straight down. Ah, uh, well, it was an idea. What do you uh, read in? Um... We're gonna pull their armor. And we're gonna look over their armor weapons to see if they're magical. Oh. I'm sure they're not, but I'll, I'll save you some time. The serpent folk that you fought only had normal scimitars. Nothing of value is found here. I feel like we did that before. Okay. We I did on the we did on the people outside. We didn't do it here. Oh yeah. But that's why. I'm yeah, they had javelins and shit outside. It's something like they did. If anyone were to have magic items, it would have been that caster. Yeah. And she did, but it was just a few scrolls. Yeah, I know. The scrolls that I could probably learn. Oh, she did have a staff. Oh. Oh. Wait, well, can she not she leave had, her shit here? To the, to the point? She had a staff of illusion. Oh, man. Oh, oh that would be perfect for Lizzie. Lizzie oh. she cry. <laughs> I guarantee she didn't have a staff of illusion. But could she not leave her stuff here? Like, we didn't let her go free. You didn't say anything like that. Didn't ask cool. You didn't give us a chance. Yeah, you didn't give us a chance. I was, I was trying to talk. I was trying to talk to her. She, she, she wouldn't have left her stuff. We couldn't trade. Oh, <laughs> she needs to live. True. Okay. Uh, gave me at least one scrolls. Uh, scrolls. Okay, you know what? Just, just to make me upset, what, what scrolls were they? What scroll? Uh, two scrolls of water breathing. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, yeah, I'm actually upset because. I learned that here I could get it as a third level spell. She uh, she had a lot of really cool spells on her. Like she had, a, she, had a, a, she had a short bow with twenty arrows, which she'll never use. She had a normal sickle, staff of illusion, which she again never used because I didn't even write it in. And two scrolls of water breathing, which she didn't need because she could breathe water. Oh, the other ones. Isn't the um, isn't like, when, <laughs> you know, like wizard select it? I get every like if I learn like magic missile level one, I get magic missile at every level, right? I just have to private. Yes or no? Say what? Like, okay, so as a wizard, as a repair caster, like if I get magic missile level one, could I you, prepare? Yeah, you choose level what level you put it into. Okay, fair enough. And All you right. could you could actually technically load up every one of your spell slots in magic missile if you wanted. I could, and I was, as far as like bad water breathing, I could third level water breathing like I wanted, but I guess not. Um, Just go over right, there. Go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Mooncat. I don't get to learn spells to next level. Mooncap, Mooncap, uh, could I write Dawn? You know, I don't want to get my hair wet. Not because, you know, I'm afraid of water or anything. It's just, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Are you telling the truth? Uh, maybe? Okay, 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 I am, I am. I mean, I'm, I'm lying. I'm sorry. Okay. Can I please write on Dawn? Right now. <laughs> you can, yes. Thank you. I do not like water. Or you're gonna have you're gonna have Dancy Mooncap swim with all of her armor and her low movement speed, so that you don't have to get wet. Nope. Yes. Okay. Standing at the bottom of these double doors, yeah, Dancy. Once you get to the doors, well, you're gonna have to start swimming. But like, you just kind of, which by the way, it's nice and cool and cold, and uh, it's kind of like walking into a weird pool area. You know, like with the stairs that lead down to it, which are some of my favorite pools, by the way. But, uh, yeah, there's a set of double doors that lead uh, to the north. Um, does they want to carry dancing, or are you just going to swim? Or <laughs> uh, First of all, he's heavy as fuck. And two, like, no. That, then that would be taking even more boom speed penalties. I'm going to throw open these doors if everyone's ready. Ready. Right. They are not locked, but something happens. Mm-mm. Everybody, check this out. Traps. <laughs> or water. Everybody, look. What? Water? Chat, tell me what you see. Uh... 24. Yeah, I rolled those secret checks for the two people searching. DC 28. Uh, what the uh... fuck? Wow. <laughs> hey, this is why you know what's trapped. funny is had Kate had Trap Finder, trap, yeah. Kate would have had it. Cause I, got I, yeah, I know that, but when I say take about when I talk about taking Trap Finder, you're like, no, take this. I love Trap Finder. Like, you don't need it. You don't need it. It would have helped here, but you don't need it. Something does happen. Something does happen, guys. This is this is fine. It's not a big deal, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is a trap. Traps are not that bad. A wave of illusory snakes erupts from the <laughs> this thing. as they all 
and everyone at this point, because before it wasn't like that, and these snakes go and bite every single person, and I need a will save from everyone, including Dawn. I'm getting flashbacks. I have a plus one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm definitely rerolling that. I can promise you that a critical failure isn't a problem here. In the event that you're worried of still failing, you don't have to worry about wasting the hair point. Yeah, I'm not going to. The, the 23 is a critical fail. I'm just going to eat it. So I'm good. Don and I were still second. Hmm. You can't remove that. Yeah, Don was a second too, so she should have had a 27. Fine, I won't reroll yeah, it if he's. You don't listen to him. You don't want to die. Okay, true. Not listen to him. Or, or listen to him either way. It doesn't. I mean, it's up to you. Your hero points. City fifty. I don't want you to die. I just it's your hero points. It's the very first one. I'm just telling you that failure <laughs> is the same as a critical failure. Oh, okay. Up hmm. to you. Well, believe that you think that you'll still fail and you want to reroll. Ten and below, no. Let's see. Ten and below, no. No reroll. Okay. I'll just write in a couple of things. For Lizzie Aid. Okay. Is the, there a glowing sigil on our bodies? Do you want to strip down and look for it? No, but what? I imagine there is. Yeah. I imagine we, 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 oh, we dealt with this before. Hold on. Hold on. Aid, I need you to roll again. Hmm? What? Each living creature within 30 feet is subjected to this. If a living creature opens the door, they must roll twice and accept the lowest result. Oh. Well, I already failed twice. So now I already failed. Does it matter? You don't know. You could also fail okay. worse. There is no worse. Um, <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just do it manually here. Cause, uh, yeah, I gotcha. You have a 14. Uh, 21, so. Okay. Got it. Okay. That's it. So what happens? Let me tell you what you see beyond. A sodden, and you can see it there. Obviously, and I know you can, Kate, you can see it in the floor. A sodden, yeah. torn rug, huge rug, lies half submerged in a three foot deep pool of water that fills most of this hall. Double doors to the north and the south are ajar, and again, a compass, so it's left and right. Mm -hmm. See these? With water pouring from the right side, slowly moving towards the left. And to the east, which is all the way to the north, a set of semicircular stairs leads out of the water towards another set of double doors. Hmm. I motion just for a second to be quiet and then say to them, two sets of doors, water pouring in from the sides. More doors to the very end that lead out of the water, probably towards where the mistress is. Be careful. Two doors on the left and right probably have creatures that are going to come out as soon as we go in there. Aye, aye, Captain. Steps inside. How do you guys feel about me? Are you good? I don't feel any different. I'm sure whatever hit us has some kind of a negative effect we're not sure of. Last Lizzie, one, how do you feel? Uh, fine. Do you guys know something magical on their first, on the whatever path they got? Hard to tell. Mm. Well, we know what happened. I don't care. We know what happened to it when we did it last time. So it's probably the same effect. That's a curse. Yeah, but last time what it did was it let you. If whoever did it, that took more damage from what it, from the poisons and shit. Poisons and shit. Hmm. Yeah. Hands yourself. Let's see. Yeah. I'm trying to move with Dom, but you know I can't. Mm -hmm. There you go. Oh god, I moved the door. I don't want to do that. I was trying to help get Dawn through. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, <laughs> she was fine. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, oh, I took the door with me. Don't be scared. I got Eight. you. Yeah, fine. Hey, another screenshot, everybody. So you guys know I'm not cheating. I had wow. Yeah, oh, seven again. Same DC. No way. You, you, you realize, you realize that, like, oh, I guess 27 is not bad. I have a 37. No, 27 is not bad. I mean, that's, a, that's, that's over. 
Uh, it's not, but I'm also a master, so it's like, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh. Do I read the description or just tell you what happens? You know what? We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to tell you what happens as we roll initiative. Mm-hmm. Hey, guys, this is really good. I'm glad that we're all here today. I think we have a scout. Is Dom with Lizzie or is Lizzie with Dom? Uh, I'll tell you if we have a scout. We do. You guys can have one of this. Absolutely. Awesome. I'll just wait to see if it matters. I'll see if it matters first. Uh, it does not, so don't worry about it. All right. Let's see what happens. 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 So that you know what the trigger was. A creature passes over the invisible underwater room between the north and the south doors. Oh, boy. It's a pretty large area, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight it so you can see. It's uh, any of these squares right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty large area, but yeah, DC 28. You have to at least be an expert in perception to even see it. So technically, mm -hmm. dancing didn't matter what dancing role. Dancing could have noticed it. And um, I'm, I'm a master, and I couldn't see the this is me. Yeah. Trigger. Okay. Well, I need everyone. Yeah, I need everyone. Oh, you know what? Lizzie too, but Lizzie, you can roll. Give me advantage on a reflex save, everybody. I love. Love hearing reflex save. Oh my gosh! I'm not rerolling any of them if I got advantage. Wait, no, wait. If I got a man, I'm going to set the trap off and yeah, I'm not going to succeed. Yeah, you have a 16 and a 17. <laughs> it's Destin. I'll take a hit. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, like, I take the trap off and I'm going to be the only one taking that. Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Lizzie got her advantage. We have Kate at a 34. If he succeeds, he critically succeeds. Okay. Then we got Dancing, who re-rolled. No, Dancing. No. Okay, got it. And then Dawn with a 30. Dawn with a 30. Okay, that's good. And then Mariah at a 23. Mariah even knew this was happening because I know this trigger for her party before. This shit's nuts. Mm -hmm. Okay. DC 26. So Lizzie did not critically fail. Ooh, good. Because of the... Because of the Kane yeah, doesn't yeah. take any damage. <laughs> surprisingly. As I can't believe that shit. Uh, dancing failed. Dawn succeeded, so half. Mariah failed. So, half damage to Dawn. Everyone else takes full, except for Cade. And I rolled it. Okay. So, Dawn's going to take 11 electricity damage. Everybody else takes 22. Ow. It was like dancing just went to zero. Yeah. That. <laughs> that was the reaction. It says that the track deals 4d10 electricity damage. 22 is actually kind of low. Uh, but it's about half to creatures touching the water. And then the trap rolls initiative. Is there a It's just going to reset. Oh, there's mm. this. Well, it does something else on this turn, but we don't know. This is good electricity. So it's jolting across the entire room, and we start with... Yeah. Oh, joyous hour. The person who has to swim. Well, first action, command dog. Okay. Well, it's a good thing he's very good at swimming. And she can get all the way up to the next set of doors. Unless it's diff is it difficult to ring? I would say probably for her, because it is five feet deep. I know yeah. she's got very long legs, but moving through, even for like in real life, thrudging through water. She could almost get there, right? What's her movement yeah. speed? 40? 30, because of the charting. 20. 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. Yeah. She could definitely do that. Yeah, I did not mean to grab the cab with her. Woohoo, slow down, bird. Woo. All right, you have two actions left. Yeah, I gotta start swimming. Just keep swimming. I mean, you could. Uh, you, can move, right uh, you can move 15 feet. <laughs> oh, critical success. It's not yeah. that hard to swim through here. Oh, start swimming again. Another one! 5, 10, 15, and a 
ended up in the exact hey, same thing. <laughs> Mariah. Oh, I'm going to start moving. I got 35 for the mom strider, so how many feet is that? It's difficult? Difficult? For 35, it's, 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 it's three squares. Two, two, so one, two, two, three. Okay. Yep. Number one. Moon oh Star or Lunker doesn't really help you as well. Don't just this time. Number two. You can okay. get up on that thing, yeah. And I guess number three, I'll be on that step. I'll be okay. like up there, so I'll be on. Not hopefully not watered anymore. You don't have. All right. And it's my turn. <coughs> Let's see. I doubt I can jump that. You cannot. Yeah. <laughs> not with a quick jump, which I know you do not have. And if you jump off, you're going to have to swim because you're smaller. True. Hmm. You're bad. I think your best bet is to wait for Don to move you over there. Double checking, double checking, double checking. And yes, it is. Hey, hey, hey. Here's the thing. Give me guidance. Oh, Actually, I, I'm not a chime. You can give yourself and me guidance if you want. I'm not a chime ringer anymore, Cade. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, I'm the same I abused my powers and learned nothing. So, <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. But. Yeah, you, you didn't have an Uncle Ben. I will delay until Cade moves. Just, just in case. Okay. Guess I figure out something. Well, it's the trap's turn. It's got one, yeah. one action, oh. it does one thing. It deals more electricity damage to all creatures in the room as the, the electricity begins to spark and jump between all conduit dual sources. And, well, you guys are conduit dual sources. Any creatures that fail at save is also slowed. Oh, no. A creature that isn't touching the water as a result of this, though, something interesting. Yeah, I wonder so if you want to reroll your time zone. I know the DC. So, um, dancing Dawn, Lizzie, and Mariah. Reflex saves. Yes. Hey. Better ish. Maybe we can disable it. Mm -hmm. You could, but I'd have to take the time to do it. And I can't swim down there to do it, so I'll just wait. That's kind of your feet. Yeah, but I would have to like fit it with it, and it's shocking as like a round. And then I had to read it, I could have to do it. Everybody's? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's yeah. old. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. Katie, okay, you keep in the 19? I, I do want to reroll, but I don't. I, but I don't, too. I'll just take it this time. I'll take it this time. Points for the, I gotta set the hero points for the, these battles if you're coming up for a second. So the uh, routine is a little bit stronger. All right, here's what happens. Dancy takes no damage. Lizzie takes no damage. Mm -hmm. Lizzie's not in contact with the water. Dawn, what is the DC? Failed. Dawn will take full damage. Mariah will take half damage. Wait, hold on. Half damage, Mariah. Because mm -hmm. you are technically not in the water. Aid failed. Will take takes full four. damage. Aid take 19 damage. Yeah. Which is also the damage Dawn takes. Lizzie will take none. Dawn, Dancy will take none, and then Mariah take nine. And Cade and Dawn are both slowed. Lizzie, oh. Lizzie, friend, fetch you. Yeah. Yes. Your turn, Cade. Don't worry, I got your back. No, I'm uh, saying use your staff. Oh. Oh yeah. Delay, like Lizzie. I'll have to draw it. What do you want him to do with it? Disable the trap. Resist energy. Oh. <laughs> okay, we don't have the same mindset. That's okay. <laughs> it's a trade. Okay. What do you want to do? No, I delayed. I told her. I told Lizzie use, use the resist energy with the staff. That's my turn. But now that's not my turn. As me delaying nope. until she does it. Too late. Okay. I'm giving your turn to uh, dancing with cat. I mean, I always have it out. So, where's this energy? Well, you mean you, you mean you pulled it back out? No, I mean you knew we we're going to get into a fight. I'm pretty sure everybody has their weapons out, right? I know. 
Yeah. Well, some people are swimming right now. They probably don't have their weapons out. Do, uh, do you want to give us some I assume that you climb on top of a bird. Which, would, by the way, I mentioned, I forgot something too. It, it doesn't matter too much, but we are going to start doing it going forward. Dancing, because technically, Dawn, when it comes to companions being ridden by their owners, is a little bit different. But it does mention that allies can ride companions, but there's a bit of a difference. That makes any sense. Yeah, you can either use her. You can give the resistance energy to me or Don. Don could probably use her better more than me, but. I mean. <sighs> well, Don's the one getting. Don's getting shocked too. Yeah, so. You so... Give it to me, fine. 50 50. Don's low. Alright, give it to Don. Last action. Last action. Shield's not gonna do anything. So I'm just gonna wait until Don um, gets to the edge of the room. So that's it. Because Don's closed now, so and she has to wait for moving cap. So. Mm -hmm. And if you guys are still stuck in the water, Lizzie will <laughs> friend fetch you. Exactly. Yeah. So if you she guys are stuck, I got you. She's gonna get out. Oh, no, never mind, I found it. It does, it does mention that you or an ally can run a companion as long as it's one size larger, but can only ever use its lane speed unless it has a mount special ability. Never mind, we're good. However, if Dawn ever was given a fly speed, if it's carrying anyone, it can't fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind, we're good. I thought that there, I remember there being a, a weird caveat to it, but it's not like that. It's If you try to mount a wild animal, they're considered slow. Yeah. But you're not doing that. What's the D24? That he was just rolling to see who's going to get the resistance energy to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cave? Yeah. Alright, I will. I could save this trap, right? If I looked it over. But I had to find it first. Well, you uh, see it. The invisible runes have lit up. There is definitely a trap beneath you. Um, and then most traps can. I would tell you otherwise, but most traps can be used with thievery. Are you a expert? I'll pull all my thieves tools and try to say. Are, are you wearing thing. your thieves tools or are they in your bag? You should be wearing them. They, I always wear my thieves tools. Right. Okay, you don't have to I, worry about I pulling them out. Thieves. When you're wearing kits as part of the action to use them, you can pull them from pockets and stuff. They made it okay, easy. Well, I'll, yeah, I always, I it always also wear says them. that you can use arcana or occultism. Uh, then uh, I'll use my arcana here. It is master. So. Okay, it is a two-action will, activity. I, I, see, this is why we save hero points. Wow, much better. Oh, much better. Oh, one to an eighteen. <laughs> Very good. That is a success, by the way. Um, once the trap has been activated, you determine a couple things. This is an electrical, electrified water ward. Works kind of like a, a warding rune, but in this case, it just creates a, a field of electricity that jolts everywhere. Um, you know a couple of things. Uh, passing over the room will essentially dance of electricity everywhere. You could use thievery experts, arcana expert, or occultism expert, thievery being the lower DC, to harmlessly bleed away the electrical any energies of the room. But once it's been activated, the electrical electrical god dang it, the electrical energy is stronger. So you would need three successful checks in, of any combination to deactivate it. But once it's deactivated, it's got to be reset manually. But okay, it does so say I that have these three checks. checks. Okay. You have to succeed at three checks, but then it's just gone. The other side of that is if no creatures are in this hallway at all, it'll keep triggering for people who are up here. You're going to be out of the hallway. And then it would stop, and then it reset automatically after an hour. Hmm. Uh, Where exactly? Up Kate, here? Or outside? Kate will hallway. say that. Uh, Kate will say that. I'm going to try to disable this trap. But it's going to keep stopping. Technically, that, that's, that's the, just two actions, which were slowed, so that's it. But you've got one of three. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, that's so what you're saying. Got it. As we started saying. Yeah. Well, I have two actions to do it. Why is that Two actions unless you had, like, quick unlock or something like that. But I think it's only for picking a lock. Disabling devices is a two-action activity. Okay, well, he says get moving. I, it's going to keep shocking us. I'll try to disable it. That's my turn. I can't do that. So slow. Yeah. Dancing. 
swim. Go ahead. How far do I get? 15 feet again. You see 15 to swim through here, even while being electrocuted. Uh, Command Don, who's slowed one. So he'll get Did you get Don's reactions because he gave her reactions, right? Or no? No. No, that's Companion's cry, but I think it's a Ranger Druid okay. thing. Uh, it is a Beastmaster. Beastmaster, too, yeah. Yeah. She can only get to there. Oh, no. No. He has two X's, right? No. He's slowed. slowed. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Fuck, she failed. to get all three of them. See that? If I you did it to the side from your square, it would be like this. Oh, um... So, so, so you uh, can move up and do it at angle. Gotcha. It, it, yeah, it depends on yeah. what your square is to the square, if that makes okay. any sense. Yep, I'll direction. step up then. I'll step up okay. into the non-water spot, hopefully, and then Phoenix Flame, so Lizzie, Mooncat, and um, Dawn gets... One second. Lizzie, Mooncap, and Dong. You all get mm -hmm. four health. Eight health. <laughs> Better than four. And uh, Mooncap, I will give you my Phoenix Bloodline thing so you get four temporary HP. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> the track oh, so again. again. Reflex saves from everybody. Ooh, I rolled really high on the damage this time. He's not slow this time. 22, keep him. Okay. Yeah, move. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, Kate, you succeeded. So that means you critically succeed. Dancing. Yep. That's a critical failure, but because you're yep. out of the water, you just fail. Oh, good. Hmm. Yeah, if you're out of the water, you treat your save as one better. Okay. Uh, Lizzie failed, so technically succeeded, so Lizzie's going to take half, and then Mariah succeeded, well, so she's going to take success. And then Dawn, Lizzie treats her save as one better. Lizzie failed, which makes her succeed. Okay. Hmm. And then Dawn uh, failed, which means yeah. Dawn just fails. Yeah. That's a take five less. Yeah. Yep. Oh, you did it to Dawn? Okay. Yes. So Dawn takes full, Lizzie takes half. Nancy takes full. Mariah takes nothing. Okay, so it's just three of you. Lizzie half, Dawn full, Dancing half? Mm -hmm. uh, Mooncat full, that's right. Yeah, so two. Okay, you got it. 30 damage Dancing, 30 to Dawn, I have another resistance, and then 15 yep. to Lizzie. Yep, got it. Dawn um, takes 25. And then yep. Dawn and Dancing are both slowed. Lizzie. Um, I would probably just message the case to see if he's okay. Message? He's right behind you. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> I'll, cast, I'll cast a sending spell to Cade real quick. It's a fifth level spell, but he's, you know, I got you. Okay. Cade, you got this, right? You're going to disable it? I'm working on it. Okay, cool. I'll fish cool. you out as soon as possible when you're done. In turn. Thanks. You can also hop off on and then like get up on the dry land too. Unless yeah. you guys are gonna go explore these flooded areas. We certainly are not right now. Not well, without Cade. Nah, I think I'll stay on uh, Dawn. Yeah, you're right. It's lucky. Do something about uh, do something about Cade. I got you. Don't you worry. Mm -hmm. This is how we'll handle Cade. As far as you are all aware, Cade's gone. For that. Uh. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, let's go. I just created a wall of dynamic lighting. Hey, he's back! <laughs> you know what okay. I can cast, though? I can cast guidance. I cast guidance on myself. I'm going to use it okay. here on this, this thievery check. Okay, now we're going to thievery. I like it. Let's see what happens. 25. I'm going to keep it. I mean, 
going to keep it? 25 was the lower. It said this was lowest DC, so we'll see. 25 is a failure. You were close. Oh, really? Yeah. I have to roll above 10 on each of these, on all these checks. Jeez. Mm. Mm. Well, I can't do anything else this round because it's two actions, so. Yep. We're all going to get shot again. 18! Uh, command on. Dude gets out of the water. Yay! Hey, don't worry, dudes. You have one action left. Uh, I'm going to move further out of the water, too. You want to wait there? I will heal Don. This point's being used. We don't know if anyone's going to open up these doors. I love it. Well, I mean, we yeah. don't have a choice. Mm. We keep getting shot to three points of damage. I'm debating you guys. I love it. You know what? Might as well use all the mirror points, too. We don't need those. <laughs> okay. Mariah. Hmm. Gonna see what Mariah does. He starts dancing. Holding up the game, make a new girl. Mikey. Probably grabbing his dinner. Mikey. Mikey. Oh, you guys are not making it through the manor today. Oh no, we lost them. She can delay, Mariah's I guess. Gonna, I don't know. Mariah's gonna jump into the water. <laughs> I think we should just go ahead and go ahead and do the strap because she's not gonna do anything really. Yeah. She heals. We can cut back to her. All right, reflex saves, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, my favorite. Is that right? Yeah. It's your turn. All right. Uh, we just had a blackout right now, so I'm from trying to get a flashlight. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just have Mariah just be supportive as much as possible. So I guess. Got it. Gotcha. A cheerleader. Yes. Go team, go. Okay. All right. It's my turn. <laughs> Nothing to dawn. Lizzie fails, so she succeeds. Okay, nothing. Dancing fails, so succeeds. And I'm missing Mariah's. Let's roll her. Okay. Yeah. Oof. Fails, so she succeeds. So everyone but Dawn and Kate will take half. Mm. Which I rolled very low, so it is six damage. So Don would take what one? Yeah. But Don takes nothing. Oh no, Don takes nothing. Yeah, that's right. So no damage to Kate, no damage to Don. Everybody else takes six. Um, this thing does thirty okay, to six this... damage. Okay. Well, thirty so to twelve. So Deeper's the lowest. The Deeper's the lowest save. But that's only two. If, if, okay, so I'm trying to do this. If Deeper is only two high, lower, probably, probably right. Mm-hmm. Arcana is still better because I'm three higher than Arcana. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. There's two. Well, here's a here's the question. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I guess you could bring guidance again. That's another success. You're saying if I guidance, it would have been a critical and it have been done. Yes, I know, but I can't guidance again. Yeah, right. Yeah. You have one action left. Um, I'll oh. identify the trap, right? So I want to see if I can take this trap when I'm done. This group was ruined when I'm done. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> roll a roll a thievery check. That'd be a good one to do. As far as you are aware, the ward was like a magical ward, and once it's being triggered, it kind of just dissipates like a consumable item. It won't be something that you can take back with you. Well, I'm going to look anyways when we're done. I will look when we're done. If this appears, I will look when we're done, but we'll see. Okay. Lizzie, do you have any other things? Uh, no. Just waiting on you. Crossing my fingers. Begin dancing. And dying. <laughs> I'm not very enthused. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> uh, I mean, 
Mariah's probably not going to do anything here. I'm probably right, because hmm. she's real supportive. Back to the water. Yep. Another right. reflex save from everybody. Oh, like, well, it's a, oh, come on. <laughs> try, uh, try your best, girl. Hey, just know, Lizzie, that if you critically fail, you'll just fail. Right. Yeah. But the max yeah, damage is like face. 30 on this thing. Maybe even more. Good, yeah. It's a hair point if you don't. <sighs> Dancing and Don roll shirts. I believe yeah. in the team. <laughs> I this. also roll really bad. Hey, Kate, right. you're fine, Kate, still. Electricity and water, they mix in my realm. <laughs> hmm. I am very good at dodging. I'm very good at dodging the water trap, kids. Okay. Lizzie, you keep it? Keeping. Critical failure is a failure. Uh, Lizzie, take 24 damage. Ow. Dancing, you critically fail, so you fail. Da uh, dancing, you take 24. Mariah failed, but succeeds because she's out of the water. Mariah takes 12. Okay. And Don fails, uh, which half, so Don mm -hmm. will say 12. 12 and minus then, 5 is 7. Yep. Yeah. So and, uh, that would be Dancing and Lizzie, who was slow. Who was slow. Yeah. Well, hopefully mm -hmm. it won't matter after this check. <laughs> Lizzie's just screaming, <laughs> hurry up, Kate! Okay. Okay. Yeah, because Lizzie's almost dead. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm smelling like bacon! Already for it. One. I'm going to use one, but if I don't use it here, I'm going to be done. Another hero point. You're already shocked again. You're already going conscious and die. Hey, remember this. I know they're very useful, but in a normal Pathfinder game, you only have one at the start, and you wouldn't have earned another one yet. I know. I know. I'll use it because I don't want them to be shocked again. There it is. Another okay, one. That's success in the traps to say, well, we're going to grow on yeah. it. Yes! Gets to heal us for an hour. <laughs> yeah, everybody, uh, swim back over here. We're leaving. Oh, speaking about an hour, I'm turning on my batteries, and it says one hour left. Oh, so no. if the power doesn't go back on, just play without me, guys. Oh. All right, we'll get your ass over here. Hurry up. We gotta, we gotta, right, okay, okay, come on, go on. Play with that. You just you gotta do, just get on your phone. And just talk with us. You know. I, I can't. I my my phone's at fifty percent because I just got home. Well, then charge it, dummy. He can't charge it. <laughs> the power is out. Everybody, shut up. Everybody ignore me. Treat wounds, everybody. 50% and it's only an hour? For your phone? No, yep. for its computer. I'm using it as my hotspot for the, my laptop. All right. We can talk about this later. We can talk about this later. We can move it. All right. Uh, Lizzie and Mariah, again, 20, 28. Okay, I okay. will focus and splash another Phoenix ball at you guys. Mm -hmm. Refocus it. I'm gonna enhance myself. It was your Phoenix spell. I cannot wait to have a heal spell. It's loading. You can't have, you can have the heal 13. spell. 13 health for you guys. 13? Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. 13. I need one more healing, please, if possible. And sucker yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going, I'm going. Everyone's going to get healed. Everyone's going to get healed before, before we go in there. So you got to check the side rooms. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I know I have to heal Dawn this time, so I'll heal Dawn. This time will be Dawn, I think. Wounds. Uh, no, no one's going to heal this round this turn. Okay, no worries. When does the trap it's come back on? Okay. I will use that seven then. So you guys, guys seven again. I'm at four. Okay. Dancing, who do you bot? Myself. Okay. Good. You will be dancing. So I'll heal uh, Mariah and uh, Dawn here. Okay. Thank you. And now I'm in focus. And I'm, I'm almost at full, but I'm good. I'm almost at full. Are you good then, or do you want to keep pointing heal just, until you? I just, only need one more health. Just, good. just one more for me, please. I think a fifteen uh, would top them off. Yeah, I'm doing this thing. So. Um, Mariah, do you want to use like a small heal on the Lizzie then? Because I don't. To well, miss, we have to wait till. Okay, cool. I think that then I'll 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 do a level one to reaction heal then for you guys. Oh, just, 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 we're all healed. Mm -hmm. just, oh, just Lizzie? Level yeah, just one, me. two action heal on Lizzie. Yeah. There you go, sweetie. 
you get 14 health back. Perfect. Alright, let's go moving. Back in here. Alright, let's go team. On down. That's fantastic. <laughs> Now we need to go through the mid center thing and probably fight the mistress right now. Or we can search side areas. You uh, guys decide. Oh, uh, let's yeah. go take her down. I <laughs> see the first semi coming through was a second electric water. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> <laughs> we'll search this. I'm going to look for that water room when we get done here. After we've done this area, but we'll see. Should we close these in here? The water is coming. Okay, yeah, and yeah. there's two doors on either side of these rooms. Mm -hmm. Um, follow me. I think I'm gonna go over here. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, I wanna check out you see in this room. Yeah. <laughs> Rounded stairs lead down into this flooded room. Long tables and chairs, the remains of a once glorious dining hall, drift as floatsome in the water. The top of a mostly submerged doorway can be seen on the eastern wall, and a massive hole gapes in the northern one. So you can see just the top of a door here, and there's this massive hole in the wall. Mooncap, can you turn your uh, your uh, your uh, scarf into a, a spear? Yes. Okay. Will you do that? Yes. All right. Let's see how far this this water goes down. Oh. Pokes the it's about five feet. It's about five feet. Five okay, feet. so you said flooding. Five feet? Like it's really oh, it's so flooded. I mean, it's not flooded to the roof. That's why, like, just the top of a door can be seen here. But yeah, I, didn't, I, I just didn't want to step in here, and then it'd be, like, really deep, and it'd be, under, it'd be a certain, like, underneath their heads. Or no, it's, I mean, it's running, but the water's clear enough where you can still see the bottom. Do y'all want to explore that or not? Uh, sure, yeah. The mayor could be in there. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. I'm going to check this door for traps. All right. Can you kind of swim model to the bottom? Dancing, swimming. Perception. We're going to have uh, Lizzie and Autumn get up in this way. As you're checking for the traps at this door, which immediately you don't see anything noticeable, two creatures appear amid the float zone. They both appear like cobras, but with pale underbellies and dark scales. Sensing food, they both move to attack. They should have. Oh no. Well, we just got that nat one out of the way. <laughs> no, this is the second nat one. <laughs> it's fine by me, though. Is a nat nat one even checks? So. Oh, that's bad. That's bad, guys. Real bad. Let me see. Okay. Scouting doesn't matter here. One, two, three, four. Descending as they get appeared. Let me uh, let me show you these guys. Look at these things. They're... Oh, look at that. Beauties. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, they're no. kitties. They're water kitties. Huh. These things aren't that bad. Mm-hmm. This... Creature slithers across the water. Do they have reach? Oh my fucking god, they do. These things are all gross. How big are they? This this creature slithers across the surface of the water. Look how oh, big it is. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yes. <laughs> it rises up out of the water, and this is how you guys know something was happening. Is that you hear this hissing sound, and you all turn around, and this cobra-like creature has flared its hood and lets out this emanation of effects. I think that it hits everyone but Cade. Yeah, I'm wrong. It hits everyone. I need mm. a will save for everybody. Hey, and no matter oh, what, you're immune for a minute. Ooh, nice. I assume we're frightened. There you go, there you go Dawn. All right, there's a dancing. Who's left? Mariah? I'm loading. Whoa. Got you, Mariah. Got you. All right, let's go down the list here. Lizzie is unaffected. Dancing and Mariah are frightened one. Ew. Mm. Oh, yeah, I know you guys love that stuff. There's Dawn's. Dawn 
Sun and Cade are frightened too. Wait, we critically failed? No, that's just failure. Oh, they succeeded. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. The say, I was about to, get, about to say. <laughs> and its last action is to take a bite out of Prime. And in this situation, Prime is not the Z, but instead, Mariah. Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay. Oh, you know what's really fun, Mariah? Hmm. You're kind of hovering in the water here, and I know you ain't got mm-hmm. underwater marauders. So you know what happens when you're in water like this? I'm flat footed. Oh, you're flat footed. So, does a 31 do anything special to your flat foot fright in the water? Uh, my AC right now is. Oh my god, you're right. It is a crit. Mariah. Okay. Is it? Piercing damage. Yes. Looks like. Who's your reaction? Lizzie, will you have a little help, please? I'm trying to find it. Okay. My thing was loading. Oh. Lizzie, sure. could. Within range, he is not. Pulling it open. Does it matter? Yes! It, 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 it <laughs> does matter. Woo! It's going to be so good when your reactions are being used for illusions. I would have done 32 damage, and you would have made a fortitude save to a very nasty poison. Mm-hmm. But instead, nothing happened. You were there one time and you're not <gasps> dancing. It's your turn. Yep. So here's my question. F. How does <laughs> using a two-handed weapon in water go? <laughs> um. Well, you don't have underwater water. Slash, water so. It's slashing. It's slashing or uh, bludgeoning that have problems, and you're flat-footed while you swim. Okay. Well, it's a spear right now. I did not shift it back. Oh. Damn. I'm awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Only he asked you to make a harpoon. Yeah. I will swim up. Make your athletics check. Yeah. Wait, don't we have javelins? It's a little bit higher now that there's like creatures swimming in oh, the air. They have too. Haha. Uh-huh. Ooh. Mm. Does he re roll this or does he keep it? Oh, I keep it. It went from a DC 15 to a DC 20. Uh, that is a failure. You do not yeah. go anywhere. You're kind of like flinging her in her bow, like, how do I swim with a freaking two handed pole? And you don't make any progress. Uh, Sorry. Can, uh, no, that's fine. I warned okay. Lizzie about this. Get done. Uh, basically, step here. Oh, no. Not step, but definitely can stride there. Yeah, stride there. You got it. There's no reactions. Um, and then, oh, uh, I apologize. We have water combat music. Oh. oh. <laughs> There's snakes. So I'm gonna pack. Google pack. Oh, this guy. Oh. No. Uh, the only one I can see. Well, fail. Yeah. And then Moocat's gonna try to swim again. Alright, Moocat, let's see this. We believe in you. Nice. See oh, nice. nice. Dawn is frightened one now, yeah. and no longer frightened. Yep. All right. Mariah. Let's try this right. Um. Yeah, it just doesn't typically immune. Okay, so if there's like 18 of these snakes, you would have to pull a fright check for every one of them. Sometimes it mentions from this one because the other snake makes itself a fucking parent here, rising up out of the water. Oh man, Lizzie has done nothing. Oh. Yeah, there's two. Lizzie has done nothing. So Lizzie, you are not a target here, but this big ass bird that walked into the water with these tasty chicken legs is about to feel the fangs. As it literally will bite you three times. <sighs> Against Dawn's frightened flat foot, there's a 21 hit. It's not. I missed all three. It was my highest. Yeah. Oh, this is dangerous. Yeah. It frightened. Oh, you're right. You're right. Frightened on the sheet. That's it. That's all I do. Mariah, it's your turn. How much is a 20 foot burst? <laughs> 20 foot burst. You choose a corner and it's 20 feet from there. Will fireball effect be affected because there's water or no? It depends on where you're aiming. There's a I'm whole thing for every water you can, it, you can throw it up in the air. It, it I'm trying to aim it like right here. Hit both of them. You get me? 
S25. Well, also not hitting them, but I want to know for sure, for sure if it's going to hit first or else the water is going to counteract it. Well, the roofs are not that high, so it's primarily going to be in the water. Oh, okay. Well, it won't be affected. Okay. No worries. First action, I'm going to stride up here towards on the step again. And then last right there. Mm -hmm. That's two actions. They are within range. So I'm going to electric arc both those things. Boy, I cannot wait to tell you how and you do electricity these things are, but we're going to find out. We'll see. Okay, electric arc both of them. Here is your electric arc as it loads, because I'm trying to hot Hmm. There you go. This top one got a 29, so half. This bottom one got a natural 1, 12. Nice, so I guess takes 30 for the bottom one, and the top one takes 8 or 7. Okay. And that ends your turn. And you're no longer private. Mm hmm And then we go to Kane. Kane really likes this idea of not being in the water. He's going to get out of the water. Colbo, shoot the one. Um, this one well, go ahead and make your swim check. Oh, what do I got to swim for? She didn't swim. Well, if she, if she was like one square away. Well, I, I, can I just move with difficult terrain to get up there? It's greater difficult for you, if you're okay with that. I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't want to be in the water, so What's whatever. What's your speed? 25. 15. Oh, yeah, that's enough. You got it. You're good. Okay, then he pulls out his bow. You're, you're, you're still in water, by the way. The water's pouring over the steps, but it's not five feet deep coming over the steps. It's like three. Uh, you're still yeah, but now I get to go fight, fight here, right? I can hold my yeah. bow and fire, right? Yeah, sure. I hold my bow and fire this one. It's going to be at a, a negative four, essentially, because I am not lethal, and I am negative two. I'm, I'm not going to put the gear on my, my sheet because I'm just going to move it. I got you. I got you. Uh, no sneak attack because they are not flat footed to me. Yeah, they have a sneak speed, so they would be flat footed. Okay, so 30 is good. 30 is a hit. 13 non-lethal piercing. Immune, immune to rope, ranger, and investigator bows. What? That's a weird one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Lizzie, your turn. Okay. Telekinetic spectral towards the one on the bottom. So down here? Yep. That. Okay. And casting Staff Shield. Alright. You've done some things, but the people who have really heard it are elsewhere. But you're right here. Nancy has done literally nothing. Yeah. Lizzie, you made a lot of noise, so let's it's gotta it's gotta swim, so it's gonna make two bites against Lizzie. Mm -hmm. 33 and then a 20. 20 misses, 33 hits. Does it quickly hit? That is, that depends. Do I get AC from Dom? Yes, you do. It's a, I forgot what the bonus is. Stat bonus or? Two mounted, it, it's neither. It's, it, it's weird. Hold on a second. Mounted defense is, um, minus two to reflex saves. Effects you effects both reach right round larger space. Yeah, that's fine. Attacks and also apply penalty. Oh, you and your mount fight as a unit. Consequently, you share an MAP. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, cool. Um, so that's something to remember if you're on top of an ANC. They usually have to support you, so it's not a big problem. Exactly. Yeah. Where do I. Mounts of combat. You are mounted on the horse and it makes three. Yeah, I know about that. What did I read? You have, you have lesser cover. Lesser, so it's a plus, plus one and a minus two to reflex. Okay, so you have a plus one. Okay, so you said 33? 33. Ah, uh, okay, that's still crits. But I'm going to shield block that. Oh, yeah. Seven, eight, nine plus, uh, plus yeah, 10, 19. Okay, I did 32. So, 11? No. 17? 12. 12. 12, right? 12. 12. 12. So, how much? Take 12 damage. Okay, 12 damage. Okay. 10, and, 10 and 7 and 12. No, 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 it's 32. I was right. 
for the one. Minus, uh, seven. Every two points, 19 is 12. No, 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 no. Mm. No, no, no. 12 and 7. Oh, you're right. You said a 9. You're moving it by 9 plus 10 is 19. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Jesus. You take 12 <laughs> damage, and then they make a fortitude save. Here comes the poison. We do have the anti. We do have the anti toxic. Oh yeah, we do. Oh yeah, you guys. I got better when you do that. <laughs> um, it's a four. Plus, I got two. I'll keep. See what happens. That is a failure. Okay. Uh, Not critical. You take one point of poison damage. Don't worry, guys. Their poison is pretty weak. Pretty weak. It has to be pretty weak. Dancing! Yeah. Do I have to swim to stay afloat? If you do not succeed at a swim action for your turn, you will sink. Okay. I will swim. Here we go. You know the DC. That ain't it. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that happens on a critical failure is if you were holding your breath, you lose a round of air. That's all. I'm gonna sink a bit. So I'm gonna cap a little dab. I have a spear. I'm gonna check out the next. Spear 48. Uh, I think it has reach, and then I think it has. Oh, what's the other trait? Okay, only. You said javelin or just a spear? It's a long spear. It's a long spear right now. I have the javelin on my sheet, so I was changing it to the javelin. It's a magic spear. You could also, you could also drag and drop the long spear. And then it auto adds it, you just update the uh, stats. Yeah, it's just reach. You just have to reach reach. Uh, okay. Did you not lethal or no? No lethal. Oh, that's right, because they're the same boys. Uh, and the man, Chris, that is a creature. The man, uh, is also going to attack. Does, does that crater know? It does. Hmm. Tagging the same creature. Can you check with the yeah, lens? Are you with the crater glass? with the lens? I would. The spear is, let me check. Is it critical specialization to all weapons or critical specialization with Eden's favorite weapon? It is critical specialization with my bonded weapon. So with my light um, ally. Yeah, so he would be clumsy one then. Yep. And then Don hits. Uh, Don will attack again. Identify a creature. Okay. You have animal. Uh, yeah, I do have animal. Right? You know what? Critical success. These are creatures known as giant water cobras. They are variants of an emperor cobra. Uh, the, their description is these impressive serpents infest bogs and lower fields. Despite the a length of over 16 feet, weighing over 200 pounds, Jesus, they weigh a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> they can climb trees in seconds. An emperor cobra wards off predators by flaring its hood and hits it at attackers. I can imagine hmm. the 200 oh, fucking pound snake bite in the old Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that, yeah. Let's do weaknesses. Weaknesses? Yeah. Uh, 
weaknesses, none that you're aware of. You get a gotcha. that's a critical um, success. Yeah, I get two, so I'm gonna go, uh, we can say. We can save is wisdom. Fair, I figured it's much. Okay, well, he's left for a bit now. So, um, I'll just fire this with negative one. Then. So, a 30 to hit, which obviously hits. Because well, negative two. Oh, yeah. sorry, it would have been, been, it would have been, sorry, it would have been 20, uh, 28. No, wait. Minus two. It'd yeah, be, it'd so be a 28. Of, uh, yeah, it still hits. Fire a third shot. Or a third second shot. And then a. Uh, and then you uh, I no longer hold. Lizzie. Hmm. Okay. Tell it to have it checked out. Oh, wow. Poison. You two killed two creatures. Yep. We don't go bad. Big. It attacked us. I mean, I would have did non legally. I should probably ride that on all of my spells. Lizzie, take another four damage, but I'm not going to worry about it going forward, but you now have the drained condition. You gotta be kidding me. Yep, you were drained, which does not go away. So you had 20 farmers in a certain yeah, it's best for me. That's bad. That is. <laughs> okay, can I just eat like some rice and just like, you know, lay down for a second? Hold on. As you two things are flooding the floor, I'll poke my head under and stabilize them. I'll attempt to save their lives. Oh, I can just cast stabilize. You could, but you weren't doing it. We'll try to stabilize these 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 snakes so they don't die. Okay. Uh, open door. Let's go. Yeah, quick one. Open the door. Okay, snakes are saved. I see books. I like books. Oh yeah, there's lots of things in there. Give me one second. I gotta add. Hearing spell range. books, more spells for Kate. Those who were frightened, you reduced your frightened net to zero before you deleted it, right? Yep. Okay. Time to make sure. A couple of things you see, Kate. <clears throat> Death destruction. Cooking utensils and waterlogged food drifts in the murky water of this flooded kitchen. Jagged scraps. Uh, this jagged scrap metal protrudes above the water line in the northwest corner. While a unique ruined sink rests mostly submerged in the water. The flooding in this room doesn't line up with the flooding elsewhere in the manor. You believe it may have something to do with the sink, but before you even have a chance to really look around, this room has three occupants inside of it. Yeah. Oh, this fucker. Huh. Oh, yeah. You guys are going to love this. Three more serpents. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. What? <laughs> what? One enormous specimen and two smaller ones. What the? Look at the little baby smaller ones. They're evil looking. What? Oh. Whoa. They, they each have two sets of eyes that function independently and several rows of razor sharpened teeth. They resemble large fish, but from their chin down to their bellies are several writhing dark blue tentacles. From various parts of their body. They're constantly leaking more water from their mouths, from their eyes, which only adds to the flooding in the manor. And as you arrive, the large one appears to be speaking to the two smaller ones and walking. None of the three immediately show you any sort of aggression. The large one is in the middle of a fantastical tale about a fisher who made a series of silly wishes. And after his hair grew back, he returned to the lake, cast his rod in and spoke the words. Viatama Vero, and the Grodar appeared. Oh, you've returned. How was your last one? The fish are barely able to contain his anger. 
looked and took a deep breath and replied, It went as poorly as the others. You seem to wish me harm, given me half wishes or broken things. But would you prefer you receive, receive no wishes then? The groans are asked with a sticker. No, you told me I have endless wishes. I'm going to wish for anything I want. There is a long moment of silence. And then the Grodar begins speaking, or at least the big fish does. Well, what do you wish for now? It asked the fisher. Wealth didn't work, and now beauty was worthless, and I'm afraid to ask for talent or good health. Since we last spoke, the town lawyer served me papers, and is working to ruin my life due to the events of my fourth wish from you. If I can't find a way out of this, and the fish's eyes grew open wide, I got it. I wish for a world without lawyers. Okay. nodded and let out a sharp exhale. It just done. It replies before saying, You have no more wishes. Fisher looks confused and shocked. You said I had endless wishes. Then Grotar laughed aloud and looked at the man and said, Sue me then. <laughs> and the room breaks out in a gurgle of laughter before the large fish begins telling another tale. Two friends were going on a pilgrimage. Be a talisman... They were not accustomed to any manual hardship, but since they were out for a long journey, they had to carry their own blankets, closed, and Kate just starts walking away. <laughs> oh, Kate, okay, I was listening to that. I have, I, have an, I have an entire story. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I typed up an entire story. It's actually got a really like, big moral story. I actually... The that, that thing is, like, Kate, it's, and me as a person, really wasn't there listening to these guys, but, like, they're, if they're not a threat, we are not feeling tip right now. We'll come back. Fine. They were telling good stories, too. They, they did. Let's, hard, go deal with, let's go deal with this crap, though. The other room probably has more snakes going to attack us. Let's just go. Ooh, I can learn some comedy bits from them. Isn't that fucking thing? Look at that. That is horrific. I want to know what it is later. Yeah. I, I definitely want to know what it is. <laughs> you, don't actually, check, you don't want to check the other waterways? That's what I did. Well, that guy was talking. Can I identify what the hell he is? You could try. Ooh, I want you too. Yeah, what is he? Yeah, what is he? Uh, this would be... Hey, Fable would work here. Oh. Really? All right. Yeah. What else? Nature or what? What about jungle? Here? Jungle lore? No, jungle lore wouldn't work. Fine, nature. Carnivious Squidious. Aid. This is a creature known as Grodir. Essentially, it's a bizarre fish like creature native to the first world. They have supernatural physiology, include strange organs, which has extra digital space within them that can hold thousands of gallons of water at one time. They essentially never get drowned. And if they were in an area that has been dried out, they can expel a lot of it to create their own little pool in their own habitat. Um, mm -hmm. Essentially, create their own sustainable source. Um, Hmm. They're voracious but curious omnivores. They can eat anything. Uh, they try. They love trying new food. Essentially, they go to different locations just to delight on tails and delicacies. So they probably flooded this place. Well, or flooded this uh, the area that we're in here. Like uh, maybe like... you think it might have had to do something with that sink, but you didn't have time to check it out. Something else too is they actually can make packs with people to store them. Uh, like if you're like for the large one. To store creatures within them because it also holds pockets of air and they can transport creatures. Like they, they move through waters and stuff. They're, oh, they're like mini submarines. Ooh. Interesting. Like a little mini U fish taxis. There's also the uh, other waterway over here, too. Wait, wait, wait. So, Don't open the yeah, door. I know, but there's probably more snakes down there. And okay. Let's see that switch. We're not in water. <sighs> Fine. I like Dawn. <laughs> It'll shut his into a lance. Wait, can I refocus at least and heal out? Yeah. Yes. We give you guys time. I could fast my Phoenix spell for you guys too while we refocus. That would be nice. I typed. I typed up that whole fucking story. Two of them. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good story. Alright, Lizzie, you deal twenty-eight for Don deals. Only Don did hit. And there you go. You guys get twelve health back I under your focus. I've done six. I thought you guys would like that. So sue me. Hey, you got rid of all the lawyers, bitch. 
No, I actually, no, I actually really like this. That's actually interesting. It's just like for right now, like if we don't have to, they're not hostile. We don't have to deal with them. Mm -hmm. If they're talking to them, they might become hostile. For I don't know because we don't know what they are or what they do. So we're just gonna leave them alone for now. Let's go do whatever we know is hostile and come back. If let them be. They're not bothering us. We don't bother them. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirty-three on the door is a trap. Um, let me see if I can create a trap real quick. Funny. It's a good roll. I don't want him to like not find one. Ah, you uh, know what? As far as you trap. can tell, it's okay. Hey, but put an asterisk at the end of that. I'll open it then. Do you oh, make sense? What did you want to know about a Verdier in the event that you have to fight it? Okay, well, I'll close the door real quick. Wait, did I get the right DC? Oh, I did get the DC. What was your DC? What did you get on that Fade Lord? Point out. That's actually a failure. What? For that one specifically, I'll give it to oh. you for the little one. But you don't. You think that the other one's just a much more older version? Yeah, it's DC thirty three Fade Lord. Hmm. Oh my god! Yeah. Wow. Yeah, the little one's uh different DC. What's that fifty? I'd actually consider taking some yeah. more Fade Lords. We don't have a lot of Fades in book one. We haven't really dealt with much in book two. So, but yeah, um, we'll do, uh, my one question, they're not going to narrate them, they're not other, but what they, uh, if we have to fight them, what are, are they, are they, are they resistant to anything? As far as you know, the little ones are. Okay. I mean, I don't want to think about the big one, but yeah. now we open the door, see a person taking the door with the thing. <laughs> you do. I hate that art that I found, by the way. I was just trying to find good human art that was from another campaign. If you guys can see that fucking stupid red background. background. Yeah, so I'm going to... Do I have a bald man in here? I thought I had a bald man. That, that better be a spell book. That better be a spell <laughs> book. I need it. Wait, wait, I just found it. There we go. I got, I got a, I'm just going to put a bald man in here because I hate that art. Sorry, I'm totally a man in here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's better looking. I should have done that again. And I mean, you're just gonna transform your damn snake into signal. Why does it matter? What do you mean, what does it matter? You're literally gonna transform in just a second. It matters no, for I the have plot. for a lot of NPCs that you may or may. I mean, like, for instance, Gordana didn't really have a stat block, but I saw put an image out there for her. Gordana? What was her name? Gowana. Gowana? Gowana? Yeah, that. Yeah, that name. I open the door. What do we see? Please allow me to. Jesus Christ, that was. Not the dynamic lighting layer. I'm keeping good doors. Uh, oh, I'm in the wrong spot. I was about to read the waterway that you guys didn't go to. Okay. This is G8. I can actually change the music back over to Manor Rooms Dry. This is a dry room. A round teak table with chairs in a center of his room. Nice looking table, actually. Abstract wooden carvings of people like the walls to the whatever directions those are. North and south? I can't fucking remember. Screw that compass. Up at the far end of the room, at the far end over here, a painting of a hyena once meant to be the room's focal point as a large <gasps> rip across the canvas. When uh, that's what was in Don's our, uh, our arms no memories. The painting I, hangs crookedly above a pair of large bronze doors along this wall. It's right above these big old doors up here. Sitting at the table is a human man of middle age. He's bearded, he's bald, he's got very dark skin. Uh, you can see that they are currently petting their companion, which is a solid black panther that murders intensely. And he quickly stands as you enter the room and the panther hisses at you. And the man speaks and he goes, now, Asanta isn't expecting any guests. Why are you here? The man calls out. Listen, uh, let me look at y'all. Multiple serpent folk on the way here. Drop the act. You've seen many serpent folk, and it gives you reason and rhyme to be uninvited. They've been guarding the estate, and we've been attacked multiple times. We're just going to ask you nicely to come out and be a uh, be nicely. Restrained. You dare invade the home of a fellow member of the governing council. Lead at once. No. Uh, Kate, roll me a society check. And who might you be? Your people attacked us. Uh, you identify this man. 
as Magistrate Mayor Thunder. Magistrate Mayor Saunders Peer, actually, another fellow member of the council. Um, Has he been gone for a while, too? Then, no, he, he's technically been in, in the town for a while. Now, he may not realize what's going on. Who knows? But that's who you recognize him as. And as you ask that, Liz, you kind of look around, Katie. Who are you? He goes, Magistrate Mayor Thumba, Counselor at Glasswalker. Who the blazes are you? Ah, Lizzie Dizzy. Okay, let me, let me, uh, let Losing me, a specialist. This, this manor has been flooded with, with water. There is a trap back there, an electrical trap. We've been attacked multiple times by a lizard, a serpent folk that have come in here. You're telling me you don't know anything about it. You know no one goes through those doors anymore, right? The people who know the mayor are going to take the back door. Uh-huh. It's what just, are you even so doing all... here? We're looking for Mayor Asanda. Mm -hmm. We have a message for him. Because we have reason to believe he is he's a, his negligence has allowed Natambu to suffer. We're here to bring him in. Yes, you are not with the atypical arresting force of the Chime Rangers. You are here against their wishes. Where's your warrant? Uh, I looked in my other pants pocket, if you don't mind. Well, go and get it in return. You ain't got the right paperwork. Um, excuse Mayor me? Santa. Mayor Santa is threatening the safety of the people. You say you're out here breaking rules, too. Excuse me, your guards attacked us unwarranted. They're not so. my guards. Uh, they're just in front of you, so... What are you doing? I didn't tell you to enter this room. You leave. Uh, hey, no. uh, hey, do you keep progressing forward? Yeah, I mean, he's not turned into a script book. I know he yeah. is. So it's like, whatever. Okay, Kate, okay, before you have a chance to step forward, he's going to say something. Yeah, he's going to be a man of size and strokes his parade black panther. Oh, uh, perhaps it's time to get under this awful costume, he asked me. His appearance changes into that of a serpent bulk, and the panther grows blue spirals in its fur and a second pair of eyes. Great. <laughs> look, look at this image. What the heck oh, is that? Boy. Oh, yeah. Is that a jester cat? Hey, you don't know what this is. By the way, your operation here has uh, gotten quite loose. <clears throat> I don't know, Kate. They did pretty good at acting. No, I mean, if you were your infiltration, you still break the law, regardless. Um, Says the people in person and the others. My name is Cyrus. Cyrus. There we go. Cyrus? My god. Cyrus? Yeah, that's what it looks like, Cyrus. My name is Cyrus. Mm -hmm. We'll put an in each of you this day. It's roll of initiative. Oh, so he's not a serpent foe, he's a human. No. He's... He, he is a serpent. He is a serpent foe. Yeah, he's a serpent foe. He's just... He's just... <laughs> it's new to her. Lucap is ready to unleash the But I look. Justice. Oh yeah, I'll see you. <laughs> He's casting spells. He should have a spell. That better be a spell book on there. I want my spell books. <laughs> Maybe he's a sorcerer. I'm telling, I'm telling you, the the picture was the same picture that Autumn told me about. She's definitely been here. She's a damn she's an agent. She's a spy. <laughs> no. No. She. Uh, how about this? She was annoying, but not a spy. She literally told me about the about the picture here. Maybe she's been here? Lizzie shrugs. He said she woke up. She remembers being here. I'm going to look over here for the back of her because I remember her saying something about being here, but she didn't want to talk about it. When I pressed so her, and then she got upset and ran away. Something's not, not right, guys. I was in my mind. Oh, what happened? Oh. Are you really deleting that thread so I can't really read it out? No, that, it's not that. I'm looking... The handouts, one of my handouts, I want to share with you. Strength of the thousands, NPCs. No. PCs. No. Oh. Did I not save it in here? Oh. I lost all my pictures when I had to do my hard drive thing. Oh, I never made the handout. Okay, that's what it was. Add handouts. And uh, drag and drop. I just want to share a handout with you guys. I'm sorry. 
all good. No, you're good. More okay. content. There we go. Okay, that's what it was. She, she had a dream of this place. It was long shimmer. And out. It's like a dragon cat thing. Oh yeah, what do you think it is as a player? A what cat? Oh, oh it's a Dwemer cat? Nice! A Dwemer cat. They are... Nasty. Scary. Yeah, they are. Have we he dealt with one? Oh, probably yeah, not. which means he is definitely a spellcaster, which we can tell by his art. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys. Minimize... Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, scouting as it matters. Let's see here. How big is this room? Mm -hmm, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That, that's a good size. Here. Roll my initiative. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's last room? Uh, doesn't matter for us. It doesn't. Still. All right, dancing. Lands the door cat. <laughs> that is looking like the option. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can really make it up to him. Theoretically, you could. He took two action. It dies two action charges, and you can try twice. That's true. Uh, I was trying to have her support as her second action. Um, well, then your best bet to hit the door cat. Then yeah. Yeah. We need the door cat. We could probably take the thing out, and we don't have to worry about it. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Stand there. Yeah. Uh, I think he had enough movement speed. Where are we at back here? Oh, yeah, I have plenty of movement speed. Um, maybe. Now, you don't know what that's gonna, what it means here, but she's definitely like, because she's girthy around the sides, but she's got long legs. Yeah. It's kind of like you're fighting and you're standing up against the desk and you're kind of leaning over it. Uh, let me see if she has anything. We should technically enter in a unique space. Okay, cool, 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 and cool. All right, I just wanted to check something. You're good. I'm gonna put you there, put you there. They, I love that they, they keep fucking up these character sheets, but it's not that bad. So like, for example, let's say a character has like Ray of Frost by default, they leave it at like default level one, even though it should say they have cantrips like a third or whatever, like that last caster. Second action, mm -hmm. her top, she'll support. Okay. And then your cap will lance the cap. Nice. That's pretty good. Make a flat check for me. Oh. Wonderful. It's a little hard to nail down the exact location that she's sitting in. I mean, you got her, though. Okay. Oh, I don't know why it's too much to add when I just rolled. Uh, cool, there we go. Have a GM play in proper. Yeah. Okay, it is now its turn. Let me catch those in action, isn't it? I do. You commanded it and you attacked, right? Yep. I have one more action. Okay. Uh, I will cast Protect Campania. Okay. Good call, good call. Okay. I had to read a couple of things here. Do I delay? Do I go ahead and do something now?
Poor. Well, I have. I just realized something cool. There is actually music for this. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm making sure that I uh, am looking at their morale because I want to play it as well as I can. So that's a two action activity. Yeah. That's some combat music right there. Alright, let me see what this does. Love the cat noises. Okay, cool. I think that that's my best bet. Based on what I know here. It's gonna pounce. Off the table to the side and reach up and like... Is it claw? Does it mention? It's just a strike? Let's bite! Right? Jaws are stronger. Yeah, let's bite. We're gonna attempt to bite off at you, Nancy. Yeah. Uh, I missed with a really terrible roll. That's one action. Let's um. Oh, this thing is interesting. I was really hoping I could buy you there. That'd be really cool. It's got a ready in action. All right. And then this guy's turn. He is going to. I got that. Okay, got it. He is going to cast a spell, obviously. Mm. And then suddenly, several of him appear. Hey, we know what's bigger, right? Yep. Lizzie, and he is going so. to do... And then he is going to could. do deceptive reposition and essentially slither around the side of the, the table here. Okay, mm -hmm. don't spell. Um, and, that, and it doesn't really matter what I do at that point unless I critically succeed. Let's, uh... Let's do the decay. It's my uh, perception. This will be against your perception, DC. That is correct. 26. 26, I succeed, but it won't do anything. It pretty much wears off. But as he moves into this area, it triggers this creature's reaction. Mm. As it then takes another fight attack. Mm. Huh. No, let's do a claw attack. 28 against the flat foot Nancy. I know that's a hit. Uh, uh, dancing, go ahead. I'm gonna move you in the center of the square yeah. uh, so we can see your health bar. Take 19 slashing damage. Hey! Um, I will try to do it. I don't think it's flat footed, this little, uh, creature's flat footed because of Mooncap, but I still want to identify it. Um, just because he misses on my turn, and then also we can just start beating the crap out of him. What do I need to do? Uh, Arcana or Nature? Let's do Arcana. Uh, 22. I don't think it's good enough. Mm. It is not. Okay. Don't know what the thing is, <laughs> but I, I will then, um, don't like he's too close to me, so I'm going to scribe to here, and then I'm going to fire one shot at this little flat-footed creature. He's flat-footed, so, um, eat a dick! Yeah, oh, nice. That's pretty good. Roll me your flat check. No! <laughs> you got a hero points. You got this. Nice. Yeah, you got it. Give my card. I don't want to. Great card. 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 Great no, that's a critical effect. That's what you would do instead of hit. Um, yeah, we'll do that to the pitting. We'll do that to the pitting. It may not matter, because I don't know what screen it is, but the thing is not really going to matter here if Mooncap's just going to wail on it before it's at. Um, alright. Uh, the green skull has four contiguous squares. Can he like this? Would this work or no? In a way, but it's not going to really cast spirit. It's going to be mostly on the table. Yeah. So it wouldn't work, right? I mean, it could. It's going to be under the table? Are you under the table? Like, <laughs> like logic? I mean, yeah, I mean, you could. Okay, I'll do that then. Um, I'll two action grease like that. Oh, that's great. You have triggered a reaction. Oh, 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 oh. oh. It's too late. Oh. Huh? I mentioned that there was a reaction. I, I know. Oh, well, from the cat, yeah. Got it. Okay. What is the uh, school of magic for this? Conjure 
narration, okay? Uh-huh. Who's reacting? The cat is reacting. As they're being, they're essentially in this area. They used You're right. Reaction. You were right. Oh, I'm about to say, so okay. It would have been really cool. Hmm. Let's see. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and the thing is, I know what this thing does when it comes to reaction. Because I, I don't, but really? it's like save spell DC 25. I knew it was my bottom of the cat. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because it, it's I remember from the familiar thing, because you get these things as familiar still. So. Yeah. Oh. I hope that the, it's as familiar, but I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's an actual... I got a natural 20 from both of them. Oh my god. Wow. That's how dice work. You only get yep. one. Uh, well, you know <laughs> what I mean, but he always crits us. Most, you just say this for uh, now. You know what? Based on that, I kind of want to close the door, but I shouldn't. So I'm going to raise my shield. Well, you're too far away from the door to close it. I'm going to raise my shield my last section. I'm like, oh shit. Okay. All I'm saying is, if you think about it, right, he mm -hmm. could have drilled us two twenties to crit us. Could have. That's not how dice work. Casting hideous laughter onto the cat. Okay. Oh, uh, does closing the door do anything for me? Oh, it blocks out everything. Out of range or whatever is going on here. Where are you at, cat? What is your save bonus to this? I got a thirty-six critical success. What? I wow. rolled incredibly high, and it also has a bonus to saves against magic. Oh. You don't, you don't know that you yeah. Know that <laughs> Lizzie's gonna turn her head in shame and just close the door. I don't want to get hit, Kate. Hey. You're like, uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's that meme of the Simpsons when the granddad walks in and he's whistling, he takes off his hat and the tie, and then he does a little bit, just picks it back up and leaves. Oh, I've seen you that one. Seen that meme? Mm -hmm. Uh, dancing, it's your turn. Uh, uh command on will support. Okay. And then you will not lethally stab at the snake. The who? Oh, the snake guy? The snake, yep. Yeah. yeah, let me see if he's got any reactions. I don't think they do. Okay. So 26. 26? Yep. Hit him! So he is flat footed. And then we fully strike at the cat. You know the cat is an intelligent creature, right? I do not know that because he does I don't not know, know that cat is. Yeah, these are intelligent. They are very smart. I don't know that. It's even going to speak. Wait, it doesn't speak back yet. It's Sylvan. It speaks back to Sylvan. Ow! <laughs> I'll say it's Sylvan. That's a weird cat noise. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a yeah. language. <laughs> okay, they are said to be said as a miss. Okay. It is its turn, but it's going to delay until after its master. Now this guy's going to come. We're going to put some work out here. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let's start with a... Well, these are all very bad. Let's start with a bite against dancing. And then oh, two... Uh, and then two short sword attacks. Hey, I missed with a bite. That is a terrible miss. But then I got a natural 20 on my first short sword attack for a 32. And then a 26 to your flat foot for the second attack. Uh, okay. Alright. The crit is going to be 34 damage to dancing. It's been sneak attack. Um, and then I need a fortitude save. Yeah. So 25. What is the DC yeah. for this? Okay. And then the other attack is going to be a total of 20. And another fortitude. No, I had not reapplied it to the uh, sword. Okay. The face is a different sword. Yeah. Um, and now this thing's turn. It's going to look to the south at Lizzie, and it's going to spend two actions to do something really cool. I can't see it. What? It Does that see it? I don't see it. Oh, it'll be fine. Don't you worry about that. It's not you. Oh. Oh, thank you, door. Does it expend? Okay, 
got it. You're gonna see it vanish from its face and appear here. <laughs> and then make a strike against you. Let's, see. Let's make a bite attack. This is a two action activity. I love how it says if it ends if it ends this movement next to a person who casts a spell since the last its last turn, which you did, it doesn't expend the use of this ability. Alright, Oh wow. Hey, Jaws attack. Thirty five Lizzie. Oh, That's a crit. But oh. we're gonna genie that. Hopefully. Hey! Woo! This guy wants to use his reactions for something else, and Genie has permitted more effects. You gotta roll a one. <laughs> nice! Um, Love it. Let's let's make a claw attack against you then. Twenty seven on that hits. Take thirteen damage, Lizzie. Ow. Sorry, twelve. Think it gave one back, I forgot that was a <laughs> I want to pass this belt, but there's always a reason to reach off where it is. So, I ain't gonna fire no little shots at him. So. Oh, power's back on. Oh, yeah, power's back on. Yay. Yay. He's back. He has five shoot at? The guy that's flat footed up here. I'm just trying to break his mirror images. Yeah, let me check something. Yeah, that's a miss. One image is gone. Oh. Here comes a crit card, and no shadows are missing. Yeah, go ahead. What happens to the spotters above break? Yeah, if the attack is using a weapon in the boat, the string snaps, requiring three interact actions to fix. Snap oh. string. That's fine. And for my third action, I'm going to... Which, by the way, would make sense, because you're not supposed to get draw streaks wet on bows, if you guys don't know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um, last action, I'm just going to go um, to... You can spend one of those actions, so go ahead and start trying to do the knot, if you care. Yeah, I am. Okay, uh, you yeah, two left, then. Mariah. Yeah, the power is back, so he's coming back, but... Hey, I don't know about you guys. I have done it in the past, playing all nighters uh, with something when we like had a point, but it, it was the first edition back when it really mattered. Because coming in halfway in a fight sucked. Remembering all the shit that was going on. Sure. Uh, yeah, bet. you have a sacred bonus. A, uh... <laughs> how how many? How long? How many rounds was left on that uh, that grease spell? Oh shit! How, what what was the level? You yeah, it was it was so much. You cast this at what caster level? Speaking of spell casting, I think we figured out this thing is not familiar though because like, I heard, I heard oh no, it's not familiar. familiar. It's um, I know. the story, which is crazy because these people have some crazy political stories. The story between these two is actually really good. Okay, things like you would never really know, which is uh, it, it's for the GM, so I know how to role play them. Yeah, but uh, just so that you guys know, he raises things since it was a cub because it was attacked by other fake creatures and. It's his best friend in the world, and it's the only thing that he cares about, and it is smart, and it's been telling him, listen, the mistress is fucking up, you should just go, I got a cool place back in the first world, I got, I got homies, come live with me, he's like, I mean, I suppose, maybe the next sign, maybe the next person that comes up in here is actually nice, well, maybe, maybe I'll see, but maybe I'll see DCC. Hmm. I know, we always like to play it on us, it's our fault for not, you know, you making have, You would have no idea, but the thing is, they put you in this position to be jerks, but it does mention, like, if you come here and go, hey, listen, we, we made a mistake, and it goes, oh, you, I wasn't expecting to apologize to people, who are you? And then, the conversation well, would have been had, even they would share tea with you. We came in here, like, we haven't just walked through the state for it. So what happened, guys? It's your turn. Uh, you a it? very sobby story. Uh, the cat creature teleported, essentially, right next to the what? Genie fell safe the day again, and Lizzie wants to get rid of their reactions. Girl! Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell them. Genie Bell has been the MVP of all focus spells in this game so far. 
I love it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it, it has saved us a bunch of times. <laughs> Alright, so who's who's more targeted right now? The Sumner dude, whatever I think it is, or the, yes. the creatures that hurt more? Yes. I am about to run inside. Okay, one action one action is step, so I can flank it with Lily. Oh, okay. And last two actions, non deeply got the clock. Now it will react. Go ahead and oh, yeah. while I read, yeah, while I read the stuff, you should does. Uh, yep, I mm. sure will. Well, thank you for triggering it. Oh! Oh my god, you fucking guys, you gotta slow down. Transmutation, divination, enchantment, evocation, illusion. Is there not one for transmutation? I think it's because I can... Abjuration, conjuration, divination, enchantment, evocation, illusion. Oh, there it is. I found it. Oh, that's really brutal. Uh, Alright, make your flat check real quick. You guys are gonna kill me on that shit. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's, like, like, it's up to you. Up to you. Do you want to get two on your crit to go? <laughs> I don't want to stay hit by that crit, though. Yeah, I mean, it's also you would know because you're trying to do it non-lethally. You know it adds bleed, so it's up to you. I mean, I, I'm not concerned about the tiger dying. I mean, it's not my fault. It's uh, Z-Chance, so... I mean, it is. <laughs> it is your fault. I know it's not. You have to do gouging claw. Like you could have done anything else. But not my problem. <laughs> not my problem. Um, I, I guess I'll hear a point. Oh, I love being here. Oh! It is karma. Wow. It misses, and then for the briefest of moments, its claws sharpen. How long does it last for? I think just around generally, but maybe just longer. Okay. Lasts for a minute until you use it again, or it chooses to dismiss it for an action. So it lasts for a minute. Okay. That's rough. Lizzie, it's your turn. <sighs> you know what? Hideous laughter. Again? Okay. Yeah. Last Let's one. That's right. I got a 35. Oh no. It was a 34, but I get a plus one to save me for this. That's another critical success. Wait, wait, wait. Is my DC correct? <laughs> yeah. Expert, expert. I literally told you it's a bonus. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 15. Yeah, you have a 4. That's right. Yeah, you cast a spell again and it just like reaches his hands up and the Does the people do anything to it? No, it's evil just for strength based stuff. Oh, yeah. If I didn't have that perpetual thing built into the class where I get a plus one save to, uh, yeah, save I'm it for some magic, it, I would have just succeeded. You know, it wouldn't be a good idea for both of us to get hit, so I'm just gonna do us a favor and just step into the door real quick. I'll buy you drinks later. Yeah, I swear that you can step in. You can stride there. Oh, stride, yes. Okay. Uh, dancing, it's back to you. Uh, I'm gonna fix myself a bit, because ow. Oh, Mariah, uh, when you come in, close the door. I don't know what's going on, but okay. Like, literally. I'll buy you drinks later, okay. girlfriend. The cat teleported to you. Oh, so he did through the door. Did he? Okay, look. Well, out of character, he teleported to you because he likes spellcasters, apparently. You don't know that in character, but so that's what they use. He specifically targeted him because he casts a spell. Oh. Alright. Second action. Man, God, full support. Enter action, not lethally stab at him. Okay. 33. 33. Okay. Come on now. Oh, you yeah. still hit it. <laughs> Jesus. Nice. It takes it. He's sorry to be quicker now. 33 is not a crit. Well, I'm just trying to break his mirror images. He is now going to delay until after his kitty. Hey, that's not fair to me. That means I'm a fourth of 
And then, they, and then I'm going to delay to him, and then he's going to delay to me. I'm going to do this forever. You're stuck here now. Fuck you. The cat is going to teleport again. He's going to turn around, and then Sylvan speak to Mariah, waving his claws. Mariah, you don't speak Sylvan, but it's going to say, thanks for these. I'm going to try them out on your little friend, and it's going to teleport again. I speak Sylvan, though. I speak Sylvan. So you heard that. Yeah. It's going to make a fight against Lizzie. Oh, I'm yeah. the little friend. I mentioned it, but it seems like... 29 white... against Lizzie. That's just a hit. Yep. Lizzie takes 24 piercing damage. He's, he's she's had things for the slow, right? As we said. Lizzie has nowhere they can really step, so I mean, but that's going to take off the damage. 24 minus 9? 9 is 15. 15, take 15, Lizzie. Wow. It's going to spend its last action to grab Lizzie in its jaws. Oh, I do relay what the cat said. Like, you don't want to step there, there so. by the way. Yeah. Everyone knows that. You also don't want to step there. You're better being close to Kate because now you're grabbing. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you can't, yeah, I mean, you could have stepped up to the table, but you're better. Well, hold on. Close to I mean, I could flank with Mooncap, so. What? Hmm? Look at that step gives you a free step to the street, doesn't it? No, he can, but he'll be away from you. Wait, could I step like right here? No. Oh. Can you step right here? Too much wall. Is you that? could if you wanted to be closer to the other person. Who is going to slide here? Yeah. And then proceed to hit dancing yeah. twice. Yeah. To your flat foot. Let's bite you and then short sword you. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Short sword I missed. That's an 18. Yep. I got a 30 to hit your flat foot with a flat. That hits. Okay. Uh, comes out to be 17 damage. And I need a fourth save. What is the morale? Uh, your point. No, keep it. That's a 19. That's definitely not a critical failure. So 5 plus 2. You ready to use your point? Okay. Yeah. Alright. Nice. You're down to 2. I want to make. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Blank, 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 blank. Okay. Cool. Round. Got it. I figured it out. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, they're both done. Okay. Well, I was gonna shoot that, but now that this cat's here, I'm gonna attack the cat. I'm gonna have to kind of spell for you though, because I don't know how this reaction works. Can it just take any magic, or maybe just targets it? So we'll see real quick. I'm gonna cast uh, my uh, true strike. Okay. And then we're, okay, does it, does it react to my attack? Right, right. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna rear back and punch it. Okay. Twenty two is not gonna hit that. I don't think. Well, you get it. You get advantage on the attack roll. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, how do I? How do I not? Know how to yeah. <laughs> I tell you why, because you're just like someone's brother who doesn't read spells. Oh. Ah. Okay, we fucked with him. Uh, that is a hit. <laughs> you have one action left. So when I hit him, that it wasn't a crit. Right for was not a crit. So it's not a crit. And he wasn't flat footed, so all that. I have two extra spells. Oh, sorry. One action. Right, one. One, yeah, one action well, I'll use one action to put the part of the bow. So I need one more action. One more action. Okay. That's me. What's the last action? Oh, uh, I'm trying to restrict my bow so I have one more interact. Oh, you got it. You got it. Mariah. Actually, I'm going to try it inside there. So I'll take the one on. Um, that's 15. I'm gonna go 20 first right here and see if I see anything. Okay. Uh, who's hurt? Who's not hurt? Let's see. Oh my goodness. Um, hey, I don't see your life force, so I don't know if you're hurt or not. So, I'm gonna assume that you're not. Okay, there you go. Um, so that was only 20 feet. I have 35, so I guess. 25 more feet. I just five more feet. I'm gonna step right here. And then can I hit all of them with my Phoenix spell? All like hit. this? Dancing Moon Cab, Dawn, Cade, Lizzie, and Fire. Yeah. Okay. 
last two actions, I only hit all of them. I can just see with the school of magic is to decide if I'm gonna use this reaction. Necromancy? Well, Disney, you guys Ooh. all get 12 health. You guys Ooh. get all 12 health. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. it'll use this reaction. You're gonna see its health increase a little bit. <laughs> oh, thank oh. you for that, Mariah. Well, um, who's hurt more? I think maybe. Wait, what? Did you just heal it? Yeah, she just healed it. But oh, and I succeeded in the reflex save, so it's basic, so a little bit of that goes away. Uh-huh. Wait, what is it? Wait, does it have resistance? Okay. Cool. Cool, thank you for the heal. I'm healing my friends and getting their plus four fortitude. Uh, moon okay. cap, you get an extra four temp health. That's my turn. Let's see. Go oh, wait a second, so I'll just add it off. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is do I add it to the health pool. Kane hey, looks at Mariah. I literally just said, don't pass off. I can't hear your muffled. <laughs> I'm sorry, my, my laundry is well behind me. Kay did say that this thing was talking when it said to you, Sylvan, was that it like spells, and you just cast them as spells. Sorry, I must have missed that when I just got my internet back. <laughs> Okay, don't cast spells. Do cast spells. Uh... It's gonna, it's gonna like look at its body, and it's gonna say it's a little bit spicy. Okay, I'm afraid now. Casting shield. Okay. You cast shield. And casting illusionary creature. Wait. Make a uh, make a flat check. For what? I can't breathe. So you have to do a manipulate check. Oh. It goes off. Yeah, you can cast it. We're going to make another Lizzie right here. Are you making the other Lizzie? Right here. Cross Flanking team. partner for uh, Kate. Yeah, but it doesn't count for flanks. It does. Does not? You might as well use it to attack the guy with the mirror images so you can break his images. Yeah, but she doesn't get to do anything until after she sustains it. It does nothing right now. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, if it's there, it can elude. Well, at least it's cool. It's well, a... attack the guy with the images. Okay, it must be another spell then. Okay. Mm hmm, mm hmm. No, it says, yeah, it says it can play. And then same thing with the guy. Twenty-five. Oh, it can play. Yep, I read my spells. Ooh. Maybe I'm an illusion. Who knows? It's grabbing you. It knows. <laughs> it's tasting blood. Oh, it's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna bring the bite back a little bit and crunch into you for a 35 to hit. 34. 34. Like, that is a crit. It is a crit. Oh, uh, can I shield block that? I'm pretty sure. Just a, is that a construct? Yeah, you can shield block it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I should have stopped. But you could get ungrabbed. Yeah. Uh, so, wait, so. didn't you just, didn't you just do a 10 recently? We 
the mask? Uh, that was the question for uh, can you use shield block from the uh no, but remember we were doing the math wrong, and I was like, no, you guys are right, you guys are right. It was uh, 19. I thought we just, we literally just did that. Yeah, but what I'm trying to say is, mm -hmm. if you can do it from the staff and from his spells, you can do a bolt. But we can't, and then you get still on it. Yeah, it mentions that you cannot benefit from the shield again. They just say this shield, it's just shield. Okay, well then you can't shield block it. Yeah, you can't shield block it. It is 9 of, of 46. Oh my god. So that's uh, 37? 37. 37 to Lizzie, and then claws you for a 33 natural 20. It's been more than 10 minutes. It's yeah, it's been more than 10 minutes. I refocused. But when did you do the shield? I, I cast it on this turn, and then I cast an illusionary creature, which is two actions. That's true. Yeah. I thought that Lizzie negated the attack in the water because of the reaction. No, no, no. Huh? They are correct. They did it because the, uh, the big snake yeah. did it because it crit them, and she did it to be broke, and she did yeah. That was a, the snake bite. Yeah, it was a different fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, it well, yeah, even even if you did that, which is fine, the other natural 20 takes Lizzie down. Um, uh, uh, even, uh, even if we block an extra damage? Yeah, because the other damage comes out to be 32. The total is 56 total damage. Uh, with uh, only 40 health, yeah, she's, she's well under. Yeah. Good night, Lizzie. Uh, I tried. And then it's gonna spin around and just swing through the other Lizzie that's here. With his last claw. Twenty-two. I think I missed. Twenty-two. That is a miss. Yeah. Uh, it did interact, but it doesn't know that it hit it or missed it. And because it doesn't know, it's still flat-footed to me, right? Because it doesn't something there. Yeah. It is now this guy's turn. He was going to three attacks and then dancing. Yep, he'd be bite. Yeah, bite, sword, sword. Armor, armor. Bite, sword, sword. I'm not hitting that bite to save my life, but I got a 27 into 26 across the two short swords. Uh, the 27 hits, the 26 misses. To your flat foot? Uh, no, they don't yeah. hit. That comes up to be, and I'll add it all together, so that you ain't got any damage resistance. 22, 34 total damage. Oh, I'm almost dead. And, and again, I haven't uh, done another poison on the weapon so you're good uh kate um hmm. i am gonna punch him because he's not worth me so i i don't know if the 23 is gonna hit his flat foot though we're gonna find out 22 does not hit the flat foot okay now we know it has to be like 25 26 ac mm -hmm. probably Probably, yeah. Um, he will interact and then he'll uh, fire the last shot at this, this guy to break in here. Okay. Hopefully. Okay. He is flat footed because of that. It's just a miss. Or else that would have been. This means I break one, right? Yep. Nice. All right, Mariah. Can you get one more action? He did it. He, he interacted. No, I interacted. He breaks the eyeball was broken, so I had to interact. Oh. Um, okay, so I need to think. Uh, should I say Lizzie or Mika? Um. Well, Lizzie's dying, so. Yes, but Mika's our tank, and I can only save one. Um. Hey, <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, Lizzie up. Alright, hey, can you get, like, Lizzie up? I gotta have to, like, Mika, okay? You know, uh, I actually could have bet on this, and I forgot she wasn't, uh, she was going to heal again. Yeah. Oh, Lizzie's still immune yeah. to battle oh, medicine? Bad. I don't, I'm, I don't, no, I'm not. Yeah. Alright then. Okay, Kate, I'll let you handle Lizzie. Um, I will use my level 4 to action heal for Mooncap. So, Mooncap, you get some big boy heals. Thank you. I've already laid on hands. I love these. I love these because now I know because he has no fourth level spell slots, and I'm eating into Mariah's, and you guys aren't even at the final fight yet. So you get back 55 health. Oh boy. I know, but what is the alternative? He, he doesn't heal until he goes down? Like... Um, I guess last action, I will raise my sh wooden shield. Alright, dancing. Um. Uh, this grease is not annoying. <laughs> 
Hey, don't worry. Just move it to it. I'm sure your pet can do an acrobatics check. Honestly, if you, go, if, you, if you move around the grease to find him, he can't flat foot you at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can. He's got a really cool ability. I mean, he probably can, but he doesn't get... It's harder for him to do it. He has to actually use an action. And I'll, I'll He's stabbing it. you three times. The move there. And then show support. Okay. And then... Move cap. Actually, wait. Cap has reach. So I have to stand next to the wall. Yeah. Within your terror birds or it's gotta be within your terror birds reach though. Oh, you're right. Support wouldn't work. You're right. Yep. Um second action cap will stab at him. Okay. Miss. That is a miss. And then uh, your image, though. his mirror images are gone. Cap will take cover. Okay. The Z. C12. Eighteen. Okay. Dying one. This creature is going to look at Mariah and wave again. As it will to hear and take a bite out of Mariah. Um, ew. Twenty-five. Uh, my shield is right. That hits. Yeah. So yeah. Still a hit. Yep. Yeah. Twenty-two piercing. Uh, moon cap. I'm gonna help. I know. I know. I'm getting okay. my sheet up. Right, thank <laughs> you. I'm gonna step this way. How much health? I mean, how much damage? Uh, 22. 13. 13. 13. Oh, I didn't like that. I don't have you do a flank for the last action, so I can do some one action here. Wait, Tom. Yeah, towards me. Yeah, I'll pounce. Towards me. Oh, no. Oh, I thought. Oh, pounce is act. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Uh, move and strike specifically. It's gonna right. claw attack. Twenty-five. Yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> Fifteen damage. Ow. And now his turn. He's gonna move to here. Yeah. Oh. Bite and then strike. It's dancing. Things <laughs> short sword. Thirty-three and a twenty-nine. They both hit. This is a lot of damage. I rolled very high. Um, 26, 36, 38, 43 total damage. Cool. 13, 10, 12, and 5, if I did my math right. And fortitude. Uh, yeah, because the fight's in you. That is correct. Hey, you're doing good. Okay. I am double checking. I have to. Dr. Visitation, did I stride the battle medicine, right? Yeah, you stride up to the target of your battle medicine and the battle medicine. Okay, so well, I don't need to do that. I was just going to do it to be cheeky, but I can't. So I don't know. Lizzie, get up. I'm up, I'm up. Ooh, another battle medicine. Flicky and wounded one no longer dying. Step. And punch this stupid little asshole in the back of the head. Hiya! 33 gets flat footed. That's pretty good. Roll a flat check. Ugh. One. Yay! 33 is a critical hit. Nice! Nice. Yes. Can I get a flat check? Can, so I get 16. A Can I get a fort save from it? I failed. Stun one, one. Let's, let's go. go. Slow no reaction. Slow, slow, slow one. one, that's different. Stun would be really good. Yeah, wanna... Oh, yeah, you stepped in the punch. Mariah! I got a question. So, like, I didn't miss the part where if this guy was immune to spells or not, so... 
Yeah, no one's really Thanks. cast that heavy. You've um, all just been... You, you, don't, you don't know, but he's only reacted to when a spell is cast at him. Okay. I'm going to go after the spell dude then, so... Um, first action, I'm going to get to 20, right here, 25. Okay. And he also is within 30 feet. So I'm just going to try casting a... What's a good one? At three level threes left, I will do a... I will cast low on him. I don't think this guy's got anything special. does he? He does! Um, it doesn't matter. I failed. Slowed one for a minute. Let's go. And that ends her turn. Dancing. Uh, I would have critically failed, but he also has a plus one save. Uh, <laughs> hmm. I rolled. A, I have a fifteen on the die, or a fifteen total, and I'm like, oh, that's bad. Oh, he gets a plus one. I'm like, okay, cool. Woo! Hmm. Uh, gonna try to take out this guy. And uh, shield stat. Support. How dare you? Uh, and then Mooncap is going to swing on Leaf 20 twice. And miss both times, probably. Uh, I wanted to get out of the flank. Uh, roll me a roll me two flat checks. My roll 20 is a not as rolling. Oh, uh, got you. Yeah, so you're doing this non lethal set. So 23 is a 21, right? Yeah. 24 is a 22. Yeah, they both miss. But you don't know if it's because of armor class or because that 3 missed its concealment. Hard to tell, hard to tell. Lizzie, you're on the floor. Oh, uh, yes, the yes. Gone away. Which sucks. Um, hmm. Hey, I did waste an action swinging out of there. Which is good. Obviously, get out. Yeah, you do that. Mm -hmm. Casting a spell at it is a bad idea. I have time to think about this. Non lethally telekinetic projectile to the cat. And the cat? You said at the cat? Yes. <laughs> Do you keep that, Lizzie? 17 is low. That is pretty low. Uh, I haven't used a hero point all day, so why not? I mean, like, re-roll it. If it works, there we go. Okay. You take six points of force damage. Alright. It is its turn, but it's going to wait until it's master. Who will... Slither up to here. Uh, you haven't taken any effect from the body. But it's got the same chance since it's going to try anyway. It tries to bite you. Yep. It's last action. 29 out of hits. Yep. 19 damage and a fort save. I'll take a poison. You're gonna take a poison? Oh, you're such a, you're such a nice guy. Yeah. That is a failure. Take another three points of damage. 
good news. If this reaches higher, you may become worse. And now it's going to act. Seeing Lizzie back up, it is going to do its teleport over to here and take a fight against Lizzie. It only gets one action, though, so I had a one action or two actions, so it's all right. Two actions, yeah, yeah that's all it does. Mm. You'll be okay, Lizzie, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Matt 20. Lizzie, 24. Oh, normal hit. Okay. That knocks you unconscious. That's 20 damage. 19, <sighs> but it's enough. Dying to. Wow. In case you haven't realized, this is what Dwemer cats do. <laughs> it's okay. annoying. Yeah, it's like to the back line and murder your spellcaster. And when your spellcaster is part of them with spells, they do shit like <laughs> they back do bullshit. Cadence, yeah. your turn. Super oh, anti mage. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was waiting for the extra AC shit. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I gave it a bonus to its ta a chance to hit, and then uh, it's got a temporary health back. It's got a lot of shit. Kate pulls in a potion. Right. Okay. He's going to stride over this thing, and he's going to, well, actually, no the fuck I'm not. I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to shoot this thing with my bow. Then I'll pull a potion. Oh, shoot. Pull the shooter first. Shoot. It is not flat footed, by the way. Missed. Missed. Then pull a potion. Roll, roll, roll your flat check. Well, it's, it's minus two because of, uh. Flat. Hey, you don't know what's going on with this armor class. That's true. That's true. I don't know. It is it is. Is it because of the EC or is it because of that flat check? Who knows? You have two actions left. Um. I will. I will um. You know, I'll just fire again at that point. And then All right. the last will be the full post. I'm not gonna make you a flat check on that. That's that's because you're doing non lethally, right? Yes. Yeah, 21's way too low. And, last and then you pull a potion out. Got it. Mariah! It's back to you. Okay, so I can't cast magical spells at the Dreamer Cat, so keep the kitty cat's all yours, okay? Um, uh, I want to produce, non lethally produce flame at the mage up there, the caster up there. So minus two to this. Oh my god. Whoa. I will hero point that because I don't want a crit card fail. Oh, down to one hero point. I love it. Crit card magic's a great, guys. Much better. Oh, Shit. that's way better. A third. Non lethally, and I potentially critically hit the guy. Yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> a 34. Oh, that's not great. 34 is a critical hit. Alright. Oh, is this guy is. Yeah. This guy. No, no, he goes unconscious, but he's on fire. Oh, perfect. I, I, okay. I, 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 Mariah always does this. Yeah, he yeah, has <laughs> 17 health left. That is uh, 12 to 24. Yeah, he is at zero. Burn. Well, it was not lethally. I, that happened. Um, I it, know that it could set people on fire. Look, I know the gun could kill you. But I did aim for your heart. I mean, uh, it's not my fault. I, so I respect you about that. Like, pray of frost. Don't worry, Mariah, you can save them by using a low level hill spell. I'll let it be. And I think uh, last action, I'm going to strive forward to try to put the fire out after. And turn. No shield ring. Uh, I don't want to get close to the cat, but I kind of need to get close to the cat. Well, don't worry, that cat's likely going to come over to Mariah if you do. Well, yeah, that's kind of the problem. Yeah, and you almost are positive it's going to happen because Mariah did just cast a spell. Yeah. At its master, so yeah. Uh... I could ready to not leave the least strike it if it comes near me. You absolutely could. That's smart. I will do so. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put this person before Mariah. Uh, Lizzie, DC 12 again. Hey, Lizzie is now just dying. Things change, guys. Things are different here. This cat lets out a very sad whimper, looking at its master. 
burning alive in a corner, and then you just kind of walked up to it with a look of fire in your eyes. It will take some steps up here, slow steps in that direction, looking very sad, and it's going to look to the south and vanish. Oh my god, what's 500 feet? All the doors are wide open. I mean, how many things are 500 feet? Oh, yeah, it's gone. Oh, yeah. Off the map. Okay, that's uh, two criminals. Can you stabilize Lizzie? You're going to move up to the side and help put up a fire? You're going to move, yeah, move up and stabilize Lizzie. Thank right, God. Two actions. That's going to be all your actions. This guy. Yeah, I know, I know. Die. But I hope. This guy didn't go to die in one from the fire. Too. I thought Kate, oh Kate stabilized me. Do you not? No? Oh, Kate, okay. do you have stabilizers? You probably did. We'll see. Just to be safe. You should be able to just click administer for state. We'll see. What do you mean? I already stabilized Lizzie. You don't cast stabilize, did you? Or do you do the two actions? I cast stabilize and I moved over, yeah. Oh, I didn't know you had stabilize as a, as a spell. I do, I do, for my can't, for my, for I took it from my health, for this, for this reason. Uh, okay. Okay. I wasn't aware. Yeah, sorry, um, I didn't, right there. We'll go to Mariah, what do you do, Mariah? I'm stabilizing Mooncap, his friend over foes. Okay. And, um, I guess I, I could try, like, maybe, can I one action aid paid to help him with stuff? No, there's no, it's not an actual check, it's just you spending two actions to provide aid for them. Can I provide one of the two actions for next turn? Not with the way you're doing it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do my sleeve. I'm just going to dab the fire. You know, like, I, I got a little bit of, like, mayonnaise on my cheeks, I'm going to dabble it. Okay, you know what, Mariah's very precise, so she's going to do that again. Hey, one action, she's like, hey. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I'm gonna keep trying to put out the fire. Alright, here comes his flat check. And he's no longer burning. Thank God. Yay! <laughs> Come on, 
goes back around his turn. Let's see how this recovery check goes. Well, I'm going to stabilize him on, on my next turn. He's going to stabilize on my turn. Well, Mariah can also stabilize him. But yeah. we go to dancing. Dancing. Fortitude save. Fortitude save. Don't, don't critically fail this. Well, you get you a plus one because of the... Did you get a plus one because of my primal sculpting for a minute? So it's oh, yeah. Three. You're, you're fine. 22 is fine. I'm going to drop a 7 initiative. Yeah, Kate immediately will... Stick. As soon as Kate gets you, he'll immediately stabilize this guy. You're going to oh. let him? Stabilize. Stabilize. Yeah, no. Even if Mariah does it, you're good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You totally see that guy's left. Kate. I know. But I'm yes. going to do it because Mariah's being stingy about it, so... Uh, you know what's inc interesting, guys? You're going to not believe this. Low-level encounter for a 7th level party. With the Dwemer Cat? Yeah. Dwemer Cat had to be at least level 7, level 8. He was level 5. The what? cat is level 7. Oh, okay. okay it's a low-level encounter. A single equal-level creature is actually considered trivial. And then when you add another creature, which is 5th level, it makes them low. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's just the Dwemer Cat is really good against you guys. The Dwemer Cat is difficult when you keep casting spells at it, yeah. Or casting spells, period, because it gets a free dimension. Because the attack was uh, doing damage. Plus, you had poison weapons and all that, too, yeah. yeah. yeah my my concern was I didn't hear what happened in reactions for a while, so. <laughs> okay, well, let's search this guy for his items, take his items, and then um, to go heal. As you check through with stuff, there's a single folded piece of paper. This will help. What does it say? It's just a middle finger. Huh. Okay. It says, it says that I've yeah, seen drawing, is what it says. And I'm like, okay, that, that's probably what seen, right? Uh, outside of that, he has a hand crossbow, uh, very shoddy, so it itself can't be used, but the hand crossbow bolts are not too bad. I don't think you're going to take them. He has a short sword, just a typical short sword to save you some time. And he's got a well used set of thief tools, but they're not, they're missing a couple of pieces. They can't be used for typical thief tools. This guy wasn't really in a good position. That makes any sense. Like you can tell he's got not the best of gear. What about these books on the table? I mean, they're just hard. I don't know. I think we could, like, maybe heal Mooncap and Lizzie. Oh! The guy is wearing, across his fingers and wrists, uh, several bejeweled rings. Yeah, oh, never mind. Those. those are the rings. I'm taking them motherfucking rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm um, your party loot. Yay. Are they indeed magical? Well, well we would know magic. because they'll just knock the fuck out. Yeah. Um, Mariah, I, I, so there's a moment you cast detect magic. You do not detect magic in the air. Oh. Uh, I don't think they're magical, Kate, but we can examine it later. Well, I mean, third level, so you do get the highest source of magic, but yeah, fair enough. Um, let's uh, start healing, I guess. I'll start with uh, Mooncap and Lizzie. And now they're full, guess hey, do that. I forgot to roleplay him very well. During the encounter, it says he belittles you by calling you warm bloods. And I hope, oh, and it, it even says his last action, the last thing he does is you drop him. He says, I hope you slay that uh, obsessed traitor. Hmm. He did not like his job. He does not like his boss. Not too. Oh, and when he gets the lesser 20 health, I should have done it that final round. The creature boldly declares, I will fight and die as a proper sis, unlike my mistress, Salathus, who has gone deep into her role and forgotten how disgusting you all are. She thinks she's already on something. Lizzie, you could kill 24 as well. I'll do it. It's a trap. Take off your take off your wounded. You're no longer wounded. I don't. Matt, you're making me work. But I am drained. Blasty, blasty, everyone. And health as well. You do fire damage. Just got our stats. No, I'm blasting at my friends who was, and he's right there. Oh, the search. Honestly, no, I almost there. Know what I'm doing at this point, but I'm not going to right now. Say what? I honestly almost want to let him go right now, but. We're kind of, I can't, like. Uh, Why do you want to let him go? These things, guys, because I, I put this part, I need to put this part above their character sheets, like their stat blocks yeah. in my notes. I always have these at the bottom, because that's where they list them in the actual notes. Because I have it, like, it says uh, up to 20 hit points, because if you have 20 hit points or less, he does this. 
Yeah. So I'm going to change that up. Okay, this is not his boss. Him hating his boss, we could have inferred this the guy doesn't like his boss, and we could have been like, Oh, well, you don't like your boss. If you just leave, just we won't go. fight you anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could just go. Well, he Save did us a lot of trouble. He, he, would, he would fight and die as a proper sis. Oh, okay, well, so he didn't need to die. So we never, we never, we never him. Him. Wait, wait, so he didn't like his boss, but he still worked for the boss. Eh. Um, as it's, it's honor. So, this guy is actually one of like the, he's a foot soldier of uh. Of snake folk, essentially, is this is what they are. They're the front men, huh. the generals. Um, they don't typically have the best armor and stuff, but they command the best people to follow them. I mean, we likely, could... likely this might have been the original, but has been you know slowly degraded, and that's why they're wearing like shitty shits because they've mentioned everyone here is afraid of Salavis. We could wake him up and just tell him to leave. I don't want. To, I, I would have woke him up if that was the case. But like. Now the situation is we're, we're going to go fight the mistress. So if, it's whatever, if we wake up, he might fight us and her. So yeah. Also, something else to think about. It mentions that it's a bald, dark-skinned man with a beard. But in its art, man, that is a good beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You could definitely tell they kind of rushed through this last it's part. And I added, I added spice to it. Like the spice. Let me, let me, let me see what the actual story is. Here's 29. Here's. Are you guys good now? Uh, <laughs> just, you know, spray me with your little fire spell, please. One more fire for you guys. Thank you. It's like a sauna in here. Hold on. I also have a lay on hands. Well, save the lay on hands. Well, you can use the lay on hands if you want, but we want to refocus this one more time. Yep, and I refocus too. Okay, you should be at full now. Okay. 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 We didn't kill anyone this yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, you are. You're doing so good. <gasps> I'm out of all my level, what, two spells? I'd say about my two spells. and four. Oh, yeah, two and oh four. So I still have to. What have you been doing? Don't forget that. Even you have work, it, had the well. laughter, would have made a big difference, but I, I was rolling crazy. Yeah, you are rolling on the dot on those crits. <laughs> It looks like a adjoining hallway. At some point, maybe in the past, or even when maybe parties are happening, you can see space, and there's definitely like marks on the marble floor where maybe extra cushions are brought in, or maybe yeah, an so extra guest bed. All right I now, do is to leave in the same room. There is a set of double doors that leads to the north here along the west eastern side of the hall, and then towards the west, the hallway continues. The hallway. It's more It's more than that. There's a hallway. The hallway continues to the south. You want to poke your head in real quick. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm sure it does. And I'm sure. Well, I mean, so you can explore the map. I mean, like, for you as a player, step in real quick. So you can see oh, yeah, you got you, got you. I saw it for like a brief second when I was over there, so. There's nothing um, here, okay? Wait, wait you, you saw it here to the south down here? There's a single door? Oh. Oh, no, I did not see that. Oh, I, I didn't see that. that. I saw everything, Trevor. I knew it. Remember, the, comp the compass is weird, remember? Oh, okay. there's yeah, there's, there's, a, a, there's a single door uh, towards the uh, west. I might as well go check it out. Wait, no, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. Nope. I know where that goes. You do? Uh, okay. You, you sure you do, Terry? You have no idea where that goes. No, it doesn't. Well, Kate is a... Okay, if I open the door, you, you didn't, you didn't see, see also, you went up steps. That's much lower. It'd be higher than that. We wouldn't know that. Unless all right, like a all right, all right Trevor. If you, if you were lying to me, I'm going to be real mad. <laughs> you can see it on the map, I'm pinging it went up a set of steps up and out of the water and you're in a, a raised area. If this lets it okay, right. I'm talking yeah. Trevor here, which I shouldn't do. Come here. Come. Uh, I trust you, Cade. Um, you should trust me. I don't want to lie to you guys. Why would I lie? Cade, no look at how that connects to the south room. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> the biggest asshole. I can't trust you. You always get me in everything. Listen, you make me with your points. You make me check the tracks. I got to explain this room. 
<laughs> aromas of sandalwood and mildew mingle in this long room. Uh, there is a wide bed that fills the eastern end of the room beneath a high window overlooking the canal. You can't see it, but it's there. Scattered papers and notes cover a desk that stands against the west wall, which is technically right here. A large journal with metal bindings and a metal lock sits atop the papers. And as you open the door, you can hear a conversation being had within the room. The bed isn't within sight of the room. And you can guess that this is the room's only door. You saw the other side of the hall. So whoever's talking likely hasn't noticed you yet. Hello? Uh, <laughs> is that what you do? You call out hello? Or, Kate, okay, did you want to do something else as you hear this immediately as you open the door? I've got Kate muted. Um. Kate. Oh, man. <laughs> is he muted? Bro? Magical you, guys, you guys are primo at AFK and at the most pristine moments when like, you're in the spotlight. He's sneaking. Then, is he typed it? Can he type that? Well, no, he just he rolled it. it down. <laughs> Oh, he's a sneaking? Okay, so you creep in a little bit. I don't know if that's true, but you rolled a spell. <laughs> he is he still sells in. Uh, and roll a perception check. Oh, you okay. Can you didn't hear me have a meltdown because you called hello when I was telling you to do my phone. Well, I, 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 I thought you were. <laughs> <right. laughs> we we later on you. I was okay with that. Okay, yeah, so I, 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 I said, I brought my finger time out, and then Lizzie immediately said hello, and hello? I, I had a freaking meltdown. Are you here. fucking. Um, you sneak in. Roll me a perception check. Let's see what you picked up in this conversation. Sorry, <laughs> Two. We're supposed to be nice people, you know. I'm going to give you something, too, with that. Uh, that's a really high perception check. I want you to... You're not in trouble. Go ahead and step to the left. And then you can step back to your right. You see him up there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, looking around the corner of that armory, you can see these two... Serpent sitting on the bed, just kind of elbows on their knees, kind of having a conversation. And the main points they discuss, and I'll keep you right here, so that's where you are. You're kind of like looking around the corner. The main parts they discuss is just, are as follows. This eternal practice set in one blood is wearing on me. If I could leave safely, I would. That's the first one. There's two different ones. But the mistress has been devoting a lot of effort to study in the egg, which I heard is someplace hard to access. Wait, the egg? Is it the, it's the first I've heard of it? Whose egg is it? Uh, well, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe it's the egg of a, a vitreous? Or maybe it contains a dangerous monster? I, I, I could just be made of... It could just be made of solidified magic. Uh, an ultra wire, maybe. Died while carrying a child or something. You said that Salafus can't get at the egg any longer. Is it because the servant folk who were guarding it had been eliminated? Uh, no. But it matters a little, her obsession with it has put the whole reason we've come to Natambu in jeopardy. I think all servant folks should leave before it's too late. Well, I agree. The South of the South is, uh, has instead focused on stealing the Magistrate Mayor's identity. She's getting too deep into this role. But yeah, at one time, I tried to get orders from South. Is she didn't even seem to recognize her own name. And she would only talk to me as a Sonda. <sighs> She may as well be named Salad as the war. <laughs> and it was kind of laughing at you. I am going to step inside here now and say, uh, and say something as I like turn around the corner. Perhaps it is time that you left. Your guards outside have been dispatched. You can leave now without any more harm to you done. To, without any harm being done to you. Roll a pro deception. Uh, deception. Roll a diplomacy check. Gotcha. They, Not gonna <laughs> they narrow their eyes at you. How do we know you're going to keep your word? <clears throat> I well, we'll come in here and move out. And move out of, and move into the corner while you run and leave. If that is, if you promise to do so. I promise you, me and my car will harm you, no, no, you no harm. What's a Cyrus? I'm sorry, what was that there? Uh, they asked you, what of Cyrus? That was Who's the name there? of the guy that you guys just fought. He, oh, um, he's unconscious. You can take him with you. 
He is not. He is him and his pet. Uh, his pet fled, but we did not kill him. We just knocked him on out. No, 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 no. Um, sorry, that's not going to work for us. Uh, we'll leave, but he comes to and realizes he's been spared. That won't be good. The best to take him in. All right. Well, we, we should just go right. Like uh, we don't know how many there are of them. It can't just clearly be him fighting everybody. If it was, could you imagine? Strongly must be. And they start whispering a bit. We accept your uh, offer. Step aside, we suppose. Okay. He steps aside. Uh, well, I promise. He uh, he tells the group. He tells the group, come inside, step to the wall, let them pass. They're going to leave. Okay. The third outside is with us. She won't attack you if you don't attack her. Does she have any eggs? <laughs> no. Damn it. As they're coming through and they catch a glimpse of Mariah, one of them transforms to look like Mariah. It's very shoddy because they made that time and blows you a kiss, Mariah. <laughs> well, it's a compliment. Like, they think you're yeah. beautiful. Oh, okay. Yeah, they think you're beautiful. That's what I'm Jesus, doing. this person. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were trying to hit on me. They were. Uh, they, it's, they don't I like know. warm bloods, but they, they, it was a gesture. They're like, oh, oh, hey, fuck yeah. I like what you got, girl, and you like, ew. And then they slapped the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't grab the paperwork or the... Or the or no, the, they, they just straight up left. Oh, there's stuff. Exactly. Yeah, close the door, yeah. please. All right, I'm closing it. You know what? I'll do you one better. I'll remove it. Uh, no, oh, 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 oh. we yeah. have to go fireball. Fireball. <laughs> you imagine how nice this guest room would have been, by the way? Like, look at the space of it. Like, the bed's in a nice spot. And by the way, I know they don't put it here. There's a bay window here that overlooks like there's a canal beyond. Very nice. Yeah. I'm going to look at this uh, journal. The scattered papers on the desk are Magistrate Mayor Sonda's notes. You would, you would wager. Want to read them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll read that for sure, for sure. The notes, they are about other members of Nantambu's governing council and general governance in Nantambu in rather good detail. Information about their looks, their favorite flowers, their favorite snack, the places they like to eat, things like that. For the sale, got it, yeah. Maybe. And then I, also, remember, there was that, there was that metal... Binding journal with a metal. Yeah, I'm gonna put the, 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 these notes and everything into the bag of folding first so they don't get wet. Okay. Okay. And then I'll open up the journal. The journal is locked. Well, okay. We'll search for the key first. Looking yeah. around, you don't see the key, but you do notice that the bindings make the book virtually impossible to rip or force open without destroying it and have to be. Okay, I don't want to force it open. I can. I pick the lock. All right. Start making the thievery checks. Let's see what you get. Mm. And it's a failure. The DC has increased. Success. The DC is 25, and you need four successes. Two. Another success. Failure. Failure. Success. Failure. Critical failure, and unless you re-roll that, you lose your lock picks. Yeah, but he has lockpicks on him. The other guy did, right? So I can't just use those. They, they're well used. You don't know how well they would work. It mentions that they're shoddy mechanically. Uh, what time was it? Ten o'clock. We only got an hour. Yeah, I'll use one more. You don't have to. We got more. Okay. <laughs> and you unlock it. The book has been unlocked. Are you ready for some lore, everybody? I am. This sure. Is this, gonna, this is going to take about five minutes. I'm going to put you guys at ten o five. Uh, I use my hero points for lore, okay? I need it. Yep. Lore is perfect, perfect guys. Lore. This is, in my, I agree. I completely agree. The journal details plans regarding an object called the... I'm going to butcher the fuck out of this. Oh, this the the, the ves, Vessiant. The Vessiant egg. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that right? Vessiant? Yeah. It doesn't detail how the writer heard about it, but describes that the egg is being held in an out-of-way laboratory on the Bagambian campus by a professor named Kourid Ulawa. Hmm. Ulawa. The journal also contains several diagrams and notes about this egg from hands-on study 
the writer first assumed to be some sort of unusual type of snake egg, hoping that it might somehow hold the key to resurrecting the serpent folk's dead god, Darius. But the writer soon realized that it's actually an insect egg. As it's the egg is entirely immune to damage, the writer assumes it's an artifact of some kind, and thus might be of some use once they learn more about it. The journal later describes techniques of infiltrating the school through the unused storage area, which the writer placed a few guardians at and used to pass walls into the laboratory where the egg was stored at night. The writer proudly notes that no one on campus, not even Corey, has figured out that they are there. But they do note, the fool doesn't even realize the power she has access to, and she keeps it as a bubble. Nevertheless, some meddling students recently blundered into the storage rooms and dispatched my guardians, putting the Vesiac egg out of my reach for now. They know more than I originally hoped. I'm moving forward with my plans. In the second half of the journal, the writer writes on what they understand about Nantambu's governance from talking to Magistrate Mayor Asanda themselves and reading his papers. The writer's ambitions are plainly growing. They seem to be studying these to emerge as a ruler of Nantambu instead of hiding in the mansion. The writer calls this their greatest role, speaks of power they will wield, more than the last role on campus. Roll a uh, society check for me, Kay. No problem. Uh, they said, uh, one second, they said they don't have the egg or they stole the egg? Because she never reported an egg being gone. No, she, they, they mentioned he used, he set up guardians at an old abandoned like storage room and was using Passwall to enter to where she kept his in a bottle. Mm -hmm. So Uawa has the A, but didn't know that they were coming to study it too. That's what it looks like. He mentions that no one even knows I've been studying it, but she doesn't even realize what she has in her possession. Oh, so, Uawa. It sounds like he used Passwall. Or she yeah. used Passwall, grabbed the egg, moved it into that storage room, which is why there was evidence of all those society stuff, and then yeah. returned it. That uh, same room uh, that you got. Oh, got yeah. It. Remember the Ring of Acid Resistance and stuff yes. you guys have? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so mm -hmm. Lala has the egg. They would go and steal it for the night. And then bring it the back. Bring it back, eventually. Yeah. It's an insect. Well, how does she artifacts. not know it's an artifact? Like, even like the basic attack magic would tell her that. I don't know. No, it wouldn't. Well, it's well, not basic, that it's an artifact. It's just like it's magical, but she, it mentions that she keeps us a bubble. Because it, it's probably hard to figure out what it's actually doing. This person studying it still doesn't know what it does. That's true, but like it's like fourth level. Did you roll like, you study? Oh, you did. Like fourth level listen, magic. listen to this. Okay, this is good for you. You realize that by the near of the end of this journal, the handwriting started one way, and then the handwriting starts to closely resemble Asanda's. Hinting at how successful this person has been at adopting the Magistrate Mayor's persona. The handwriting is crazy good. You know, Ag, you know what makes you think of? So, you know, the, the new dedication of Alter Ego, I think it almost makes you think like she's become Asanda so much, like her mind is like breaking, and she's like kind of like two personalities one that is Asanda and one that's not. Like, she can't differentiate between two people anymore. You know, almost kind of, you know what I mean? What did you guys um, think of that lore reveal? Some cool shit, right? That is some yeah. cool shit, yeah. Hmm. I want to see what this fucking egg does. Well, it's an insect egg. The insects have been weird. Well, it is an artifact, so that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> um, you probably shouldn't detect magic on it because you'll fucking, like, your eyes will start burning. <laughs> um, yeah, Kate's actually, like, um, I don't want to say he's like aroused, but like very, very oh, he, excited. He's aroused. He's about to start making babies with a mushroom head if he doesn't, if she didn't open that door. He doesn't open that door and get the hell out of the way. Going, I'm going. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, okay. Can you heard artifact? And, this is like when Mariah here's like. Uh, and Lawa has it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just this be is dumb. like when Mariah here's like. Um, Beauty pageant, okay? Look, arcane her artifact, but he was instantly ready. So, Salapis is, based on what you heard, is someplace hard to get. Yeah. 
which makes me think basement. Perhaps maybe there's. Which makes me think she has a hydra down there, but you know. No. <laughs> huh. Oh, true. What was that thing we fought every Can we go yeah. through these doors first? Before yeah, maybe have to. And there's, there's also there's also the single door over on this side oh, here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that, yeah. I can shrink Don once today to get her through a door easily. Well, well yeah, it's... through a single door counts as difficult to rain. If okay. it's okay. less than that, like if it's meant for a small creature, she's yeah. gonna squeeze. Okay. I'll wait for her right here. Oh my god. Wait, is that... I'm gonna let you guys know, just so you know, as you try to open those doors, I have a thing for it. Uh, the bronze doors, you can tell, are barred from the other side. I mean, that's why, that's why I had the lock symbol on it. It looks like you can't even open them. Hey, Cade! Things are about to happen. Yeah. Look at that. I see a cat. What cat thing? Cat snake thing? Yep. Keep them in the room. Standing before on. one of the doors here are two snake-headed creatures, yellow-scaled humanoids wearing dirty brown robes holding crude scimitars. They immediately draw their weapons upon seeing you, but do not engage. As the room that you come from has them... At a bit of shock and awe. It would have been different if you came from a different location. But... Yeah, Kato, Kato says I'm doing like he last but... What do you want to say? We don't want to fight. We don't want to fight you. The master has gone crazy. If you want to leave, now's the chance. Roll a diplomacy check. Got any information? So this might work. That of your point. So whatever this is. Oh. I tried. If we aim him? I have, I'm have. looking at DCs. Yeah, you can roll an H check if you want. Go ahead. Sure, I'm pretty good at it. I got you. I'm your diplomacy girl. Yeah, we don't really want to fight everyone. We have resources to spend. I rolled a four on that. Ew. <laughs> I mean, that's still a successful aid. Yeah. One, of them, one of them puts a hand up to you. Like, a palm towards you, Cade. And then they're going to put their scimitar away. They're going to take their open hand, showing it to you. They're gonna reach over to the door and they're gonna open the door with the hand still facing you, with the other hand. And then he's gonna, he's gonna like still eye love on you, call into the doorway. Hey, Brutus, Bob, we're out of here. <laughs> at an exit. <laughs> and here's some story from the other side. And then, kind of coming through the doorway, you're gonna see two more creatures, much like the ones you fought outside, the nasty ones with the scales. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no, thank you. Nope. Yeah, no, yeah. we're good on the. Yeah. They begin to speak to each other. Oh my god, do they have their own language? I think they should. Do they? Uh, yeah, they're speaking Akla with each other. But they don't say it out loud. They have telepathy. I just realized that. Oh. They're speaking to each other. You can see they're locking eyes and they all nod. And they look back to you. And the one you spoke to, they accept your offer. You need to be very careful. Which, uh,. Where, where is your master in the first place? Is she behind these doors and he points behind there? No. But someone else is. May we leave? Yeah, he gets out of the way. Everyone get out of the way. Okay. That's the best. Put them on the GM layer. All right. Continue on. Uh, I'm just going to yeah. pretend like they moved past. Want to go check out their rooms? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. God, I'm such an emerald bow, guys. I know. We have trained you well. <laughs> Let's change it all up. Let's change it. We know what we're going to. Uh, did you say these doors or these doors? Where yeah, those the... doors. Where they, they were like they were protecting something. Go ahead, Kate. Step in. It's another one of those rooms. That's true. Go ahead, Kate. Step in. I got you. A painting of Nantambu at sunset hangs on the south wall of this room opposite a large bed with a black wood frame. A pile of clothes sits at the foot of the bed, and other clothes are heaped on a, well, desk, which they didn't actually put in here, but it's otherwise bare. It's just a lot of clothes. Tied to the foot of the bed, technically it's near here, is a man, Magistrate Mayor Asanda, battered and bruised. Oh. And he shakes his head, looking at you as you enter. Oh, this is another one of your sick games. I will fall for it, says to you. Uh, uh, oh, Mayor! No. Hey, don't walk up. Doesn't say anything. He, take, he pulls out his dagger. No! Cuts the guy. Stay away from me! You stick a foot! He starts cutting Kill the guy free. I'm gonna stop you, Salfus! He starts like cutting spitting blood free. in your face. That's fine. If he's spitting blood in my face, I'm cutting him free. 
as you cut him free, he reaches out and slaps like his hands around your throat. I won't oh. fall for your games! Uh, we're from the, the Magambia. Mariah, can you heal him up for somebody? I heard a lot of talking. Let's just go ahead and start rolling the diplomacy checks. All right. Okay. Does sure. anyone say anything else in this matter? Yeah, sir, we're from Magambia. We're not with Salasis at all. You're from Magambia. Prove it! Uh, do you want me to show you, like, my Magambia mass attend- uh, attendance? Any of that could be any of us. And he's, like, squeezing a little harder. Sure. He's, a little, he's a little weak. It's not really doing too much, but after some time... I want to be report that, too. That's bad. Um... Sir. Sir, look, we know you're under stress. Just calm down. We can talk this over, please. There is something that you guys know that there's no way Salafus would know. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think what it is now. Hold on. Um, oh, I think I remember now. Uh... Didn't you? Didn't we see him during that like weird dance thingy? Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. Oh yeah, we met. We met before. Thank you. What are you talking about? Um, do you remember when like we had a we were participating to get our attendance into Magambia and like we saw you and you introduced us in a performance on the speaker stage? Remember, this is Lizzie. My name is Mariah. Yeah. His eyes light up with memory of this. And I sent you the boat. Yeah. The boat. What was on the boat? A scroll of something. No, it wasn't a scroll. A bo- oh, oh, it boat. It was. Hey, can you roll a history knowledge? Because I forgot. It's too long ago. Let's see. Let's, oh, I wonder I wonder if Gilgamesh actually remembers what was on that boat. I, I remember the wa- I don't remember on the boat. I remember there were uh, water, uh, water, uh, sewer fish here. I remember on the water. Mm-hmm. He put an Daniel object said, into a Daniel boat. Daniel says, I don't remember what was on the boat, but I remember there were silver fish making that weird pattern. I even talked to you about it. Oh, no, you never did with that. He just kind of, he was on the edge. I did because he was there and we were talking, we were talking about, like, we were talking about. He wasn't, he wasn't around you. But he was on the other side of the waterfront, and then from a distance. That's why he shouted across the water canal about the impromptu concert. What was on the boat? A swan? Something close to a swan. A bird? No. A well, something close, close to a, a bird. Swan. Not a duck. Uh, how was? I don't. I don't remember the boat it's thing. It's dipped in gold with a rune carved on it. I don't remember. So long ago. <sighs> so long ago it was one of the first things you guys did it was a feather token oh yeah oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh wait chest feather token. feather token you're right chest feather token it's a chest feather token i don't know if you guys still have it or not is it in your uh, inventory nope it's just uh, a ap one hand on treasure <laughs> is it probably is i don't remember if it's in the party loop we can pull it out and show it to him yeah right, chest feather token if it's not in the party loop it's been deleted and likely sold I think it's probably, yeah, I probably sold it, yeah. We probably sold it. Or in somebody's pack. That's more likely that it's in somebody's pack. It's not in mine. I checked Moonflowers. Yeah, it's, it's not in mine either. Talisman or Feather Token? It was, um, I be- it was a chest Feather Token. That's what it was called. I mean, it was I- the one that you could summon a chest, put things into it, and then reactivate it. turns it back into a feather. But the next time you activate it, it turns into a permanent chest. It's like a, a, a very... Wait, I just, easy- hold on, hold on. I thought I had that for sure. Because I, I would have really liked that. Like, why, why, did I, why did I get rid of that? Because it's probably one of the one time moves. It's, 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 it's a very good way to like move like large collections of books and stuff. Like I think I Moonflower might have actually had that. I'm not sure. I looked. Moonflower didn't have it. I wouldn't have thought. I wouldn't have sold that because I actually wanted You it, might have. Because I was thinking about using uh, Lock. Yeah. You probably put it in your room. I think we just plucked it in somebody's room. Yeah, I think I, I, think I actually used it to put it in my room. Yeah. Because I remember I wanted to use it for lock and stuff like the high by magic to buy a spell book. That is exactly what you did with it. You have it. Yeah. So do you remember us? He does. Give me one second. I went downstairs to get some water because I am feeling the conversation. I'm all vivid. I'm full of adrenaline. The story's fucking kicking off, guys. It's only the second book. We didn't have to fight, we didn't have to fight five more encounters. It's what happened. Oh my god, that literally saved us our life. You don't want to know what happened when you first came in here. <laughs> uh, you probably killed everybody. 
Yeah. They are, they said they were murder hobo. It mentions that if you like listen and you take your time, especially if you like give them the out, that very first girl tells you that everyone's trying to get away, gives you the information that you need to know what to say. Now, they would just fight you right off the rip. But if you mention, hey, listen, she's gone crazy, or hey, you have a chance to get out of here, you have a chance to do a diplomacy check. But the DC is not too bad. It's actually DC twenty two, which is why I was like, I want to give this to Kay, but he got that twenty one, but the aids helped. Without it, it's virtually impossible. That's good. I like it because, like, this gives us the chance to have to fight everything, yeah. like, waste more resources for nothing because they don't even have loot that we want. So, the yeah, loot that we want ran away. We're trying to solve it in a different way. Yep. Well, well, other, stuff has other answers. Sure, my way of just saying hi, hello, how's it going isn't the right way, but you know. It's not well, murder hobo. You know, the enemy territory. They don't have a reason to believe us. And it was they're the only believing us because their master is fucking crazy. And it was the very first set of guards before we even knew that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're the ones guarding the door. They're probably the ones that were, were still loyal. Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we didn't know about her solid and senile behavior. Like I said, I think I think what happened is she's, she's losing her mind. She's yeah. been like disguised for so long. She's like can't differentiate, and she's like, going crazy. Oh my God! Split personality disorder. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. She's hmm. literally like been in this disguise for so long because they've mentioned they've been here for too long that she's like losing her touch with who she's supposed to be or who she her 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 personality and then like her persona. So we could help her then. We could if she listened. We'll see. We'll see uh, if she I think we will see. Yeah. I'm back up here now. Let me look at my notes. Let me go get some water. I am dry. It, it, it is you. There's no way that she would know this. I, oh God, I've been held prisoner in my own chamber since the canal burst and my mansion flooded. I, I was gone on vacation. I came back as soon as messages reached me about the destructions. And I came home and unpacked my things and was overran. It's almost like they wanted me to come back. They needed me. They, yeah, they've been yeah. Sal- Salafus keeps me fed and alive though guarded and bound I, to know that I may yet be free and he looks towards you hope in his eyes that quickly changes to worry no 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 no. we must do something that crafty serpent has been studying my every move uh, Kate right that's your name yes. asking me questions every day and he's like shaking I'm trying to like imitate that even, even when I refuse to answer I see I see me, I, I mean, I mean her, but me examining my mannerisms. I, I, I thought I was going, I was going to lose my mind, answering questions from myself, about myself, to myself all day long. I can, can hear her outside, my chambers, saying, uh, saying obscene things in my voice. I, I heard her giving orders to, to assassinate citizens of Nitambu. Um, she told me that she... No, 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 you have to listen. You have to listen. It's important. She has told me she came here looking for something. But now that she sees the riches of our fine city, she intends to stay and corrupt it from its leadership. If we don't stop her now, she'll place all of Nintambu in the coiled grip of that malevolent organization. organization? In how? Whatever their organization is. Oh, okay. Certain folks run deep. I thought, I, I, they I, intend to place people. Of, they intend to place people of power to impersonate them until they can run the Matabu as a shadow government. I get. Oh, yeah. I understand. Oh. Yeah. I thought I, he was. I thought he was saying a different, bigger, even bigger organization than her. I I can't step inside her mind, nor would I want to. But I think that she wanted an identity that would allow her unquestioned access to whatever she came to find. She might have her ambitions set on ruling Nintambu from the start, though. That's what it seems like. We found what she was looking for, or we found out what she's looking for. We know where it's at, but we're trying to retrieve it. Uh, and stop her. And stop her. But right now, we need to get you to safety. The guards outside and everyone in this way have been taken care of. We'll lead you outside so you can get some help. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. I... I, I can make it out, or at least 
that's relatively safe in here. They haven't done too much to me. I, I, I can't have you leave and risk that she finds out and then exits. You need to stay. You have to. She cannot be afforded to leave. Yeah, yes, we're not going anywhere. Please, uh, go ahead and go, and we'll uh, we'll stay. He seems genuine. He seems very shook, very determined, or whatever this corruption was to be stopped. Yeah. He's not I don't making think any he's effort was... to hide anything. Look, I don't don't think he's the fake either. But Mooncap has given him a, a little. And he starts smiling at you, and a long tongue comes out, and another up. <laughs> she she spends more and more time with her lackeys practicing how to interact with humans in, in my private entertainment room. And he points past you towards the east, at the back of the mansion. She's preparing to mimic me in any social situation, even the busy and complex ones that my position demands. The servant folk who guard me complain about the practice sessions quite often, so. It's nice to see that they went all completely awful, that you were able to let them free. But, uh... <coughs> it was difficult. I can, I can tell you, I, I don't have much yes, information what about right her now. Capa- what about her capabilities? Um, what I, kind I of don't have... I, I, don't, I don't have any information right now, but I can definitely tell you that she is getting confused about where she ends and I begin. The other super folk cast their false identities of shedding skin, but she, and his eyes go a bit wide, it's different. She lingers in her fake identity for hours and hours. That is something I think you could use against her if you encounter her. Confuse her. You might be able to feed her more easily, but be careful. And maybe I'm her now. And he looks at his hands and they're shaking. <laughs> Can I, like, grab his hands to make sure he's him? They're warm. Huh. Okay, don't worry. I'm an illusionist. I sense illusions. It is a way we can always tell somebody. I'm sorry. This is not a passionate moment for me. I'm not going to kiss you. Uh, no, no, ugh, no. I think it's time for you. Uh, I mean, at least buy me dinner first. Jeez. How do you? Wait, 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 wait. I have time for this. <coughs> this is the trauma victim. Let's head out. You head out the door from this room, and then you travel through the double doors in the center of the parlor. Right Goes here. The bar. This one? There no, the double doors are so... Uh, uh, yes, all the double doors lead to the same gallery. It's just separate rooms. Okay. It, no, it, my interior designer said it would add space, and it does. But the very center ones are barred. Yeah. Mayor Sonda, here, I think you should go back to the Tombu, or Macabre. Yeah, you seek Professor mm-hmm. Ott and Professor Jonathan. They might be able to help you. I'm going to catch my breath for a moment. I've already said to all this bet. I definitely want to change my clothes, but they've been resting at all. Okay, okay. Okay. Stay here. We'll deal with the house and come back and get you, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm not going anywhere. And he sits on the bed. Okay. Stay there. Oh, stay I'm there. Not, oh, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold on real quick. i got to see how long this lasts. Mirror image lasts how long? I think a minute. A minute. A minute. A minute. A minute. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to cast it out and there be a trap or something. I have to deal with the shit. Um, cast in the middle combat. I am putting a long straight around. I'll cast a certain class. Hey, itself, so it will not benefit Dawn if you're riding Dawn. I know. Okay. Let's see. I am casting illusionary disguise. Where's it at? Where's it at? Do something. I. So I could be the. Oh, I'm gonna look like the mayor. All right. Lizzie, he wore impersonation thing. On the... Oh yeah, before we go there, um, her name is Sisyphus, right? Salathus. 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 I can't say this, but in the fight, we should call her by both names. Basically, confuse her, get her under. Let's get. Give it the advice from these people. I'm gonna tell you guys something. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. I think I can just show you. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can find it. Why would you not put supplemental handouts? Okay, so it's not in there. Is it under feats? It's not under feats. It's not under spells. So, Cade, your plan. Hold on. Mm-hmm. It's not there either. Well, that, Generally, that to to the yeah, it's I'm going to okay. tell you guys something important. Generally, they, they usually do pretty good about putting like secondary actions in here, but it looks like they didn't. So I'm just going to tell you guys it then. 
you guys have unlocked an action called Confuse Salathus. Two actions, auditory concentrate that you can do in combat. Ooh. You ah. stoke the disconnected Salathus's mind by offering statements that might confuse Asanta and Salathus with each other, attempting a deception or diplomacy check. <gasps> oh yeah. Perfect. Let's go, Lizzie. Let's go, Lizzie. <laughs> Yeah, so you spoke as you've already spoke. Confuse the chair. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'll confuse the crap out of her. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, so now as we get to this door right here, before I open it, I'm going to check to see if it's trapped. It was trapped, but you already triggered it. What? Yeah. Jokes, right? This door up here. I'm going to see if it's trapped. I'm gonna... Oh, no. It's, it's maybe trapped, but it doesn't seem like it's trapped. But tell you what, there's a 50% chance that 100% of it is trapped. Your image is it magical, because I sense to think magic. Even from here, Cade, as you get close to the door, you can hear the sound of conversation. A lot of it. Several okay. different people. A dozen, maybe? She's probably talking to herself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I cast mirror image on myself, so uh, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm going to open the door. Oh, what the? Yeah, that's what I figured. Is that a pimp? <laughs> oh my god! No, she just. Uh, Is he? Sorry. Oh, she's talking to the press. The council. No, I can't hear it. Let me see. Turn it up. Now I do. Yeah. This room is home to a sedate party of around a dozen people. They stand dressed in fine clothing or sit on the benches lining the walls. Their low conversations makes a soft whispering through the room. And in the middle of the floor is a cheetah hide rug. Matted in a thick green liquid. Pretty odd. In the middle of the western wall is a bronze double door with a wooden bar on this side, permitting entry from the west. That's what's stopping that double door. Standing amid the crowd is Magistrate Mayor Asanda, entertaining these party guests. And obviously out of place in this party is a serpent folk with a very bulky frame covered in hard gray specks and a look at everything. And as your party arrives, Asanda looks in your direction with a confused expression. I don't know who you are, but if you don't have an invitation, I'll have to ask you to leave my manor at this moment. And a couple of people kind of look in your direction. I think it's time you came with us, Olympus. This, you're, this little, uh, this little uh, game you're playing, it's over. The game that you're talking about, Salavis. Can't you see I'm talking to the fine people of Natambu? So you have no invitation, I take it. I mean... <laughs> the other is the, the real man is in the other rooms. So, I mean, and I'm sure you don't want man, to find I, people. To... What are you talking about? The real man standing before you. Uh, uh, Mariah, would you please look at the other? Uh, Everyone, look. The there's a shit. Look at how he shimmers. There's multiple of him, and he's calling us crazy. And there's like a bit of like a low laughter amongst all these people here. As you walked in, and you have like this illusion. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you talking to illusions? You're such a funny person. You have illusions all around you right now. We can see them. You have mirror image. I do. I just know what this is now. Because she's so fucking crazy. Out of character, she summoned a bunch of mirror, or a bunch of, uh, like, I'm, this is an Illusionary creatures. Yeah. This is <laughs> she didn't, okay. This sound, you know what? I'm just gonna... You know what? I'm not playing this game. I'm gonna shoot her. <laughs> well, oh, 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 man. Uh, I we could talk to her. Your 19 wasn't enough to see it. You draw your bow. He he cools back, and as you let the bow loose, it just hits some sort of bubble right in front of you, and just falls to the floor. And we're gonna roll initiative. Oh. It doesn't look like things outside the room can affect anything inside the room. Huh? Yeah, because I know I know what this is now. This is, yeah, no I mean, out of character, I know what it is. I didn't care if I but it's funny because I, 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 thought, I thought about this now, what it is, because there's no way there's that many server folks in here. So this has to be the either the party, but if it's not, then it's not the actual council, but then she's just talking. She's crazy. 
So yeah. Huh. This is a new illusion. It's, it's we've already seen it before, but we don't know that in character. The large creature sees that arrow, grab up his weapon, and it kind of moves to interject himself. Oh boy. From what I can see, there's no place for me to go. <laughs> not so if well. these are illusions, well, not for Dawn. Right there is one right there. Potentially, we'll find out real quick. They've got uh, shocked expressions and stuff. I'm, I'm sure going they do. to have to hop off of uh, Dan, Dawn and use your long strider and get in there. I mean, Dawn can not make it to this section. It would be, I'll tell you the math, 10, oh, no, it's oh, no, 5, 15, yeah. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, yeah. you need 40 feet to get to the yeah. first open space. You can. I'll hop off dog. Okay. Uh, and stride to here. As you do, you know what that guy's going to do. Attack of opportunity. Oh, yeah, you guessed it. Something I forgot about last time. Let's do um, let's do a fang attack. Yeah, twenty four. I think this is you. It does. Okay. Uh, hey, if you have a spear, you can attack him. Oh no, I can't. That's that lag. Hop off, off, move one action left dancing. Uh, right, smack the guy in front of me with my sap. Uh, tap on his back. Uh huh. Smack that sap. You're hitting the, like... Is that that's, not, that's not Salpus, by the way. That's the guy no, sitting in the guy. chair. This guy. Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought you were hitting yeah. on the fucking... <laughs> Holy shit. That would have been the funniest thing I've ever seen. Okay. No, the guy is just trying to stab me. <laughs> yeah, I got you. 26 will hit. 12, 24. Well, gee, you're using an unlethal weapon. Yes, I drew my sap. 12, 11, 8, done. Hey, Lizzie. Okay. Oh... Uh... Yeah, you know, we're going to do that. Stride in. His reaction is down. Yep. Why well, I took it. And use the two actions to do the mayor confusion thingamajigger. Which one did you call him, Tim? I want to... I can't... I'm just so many rich <laughs> yeah. people in here. Look at this fucking... Did you see the goblin here? What's the goblin? The goblin looks like... I'm talking about this guy right here. That guy looks like Kanye West, you got, almost. You got Lord Bacchus over here in the fucking seat. I was going to call him Oh, I'm gonna say it looks like Jesus Christ on like crack. You would happen to know you can actually tell by the way they're dressed. These are real people of Mugabe. Yeah, I imagine they are. Huh, a black door. This guy is supposed to be somebody else. But when, when I saw the art, I'm like, oh, that's not technically him, but it is, because that's it's the Nethis guy that works for uh he, he's one of the uh magistrate mayors as well. I forgot his name. I thought it was supposed to be somebody else, but when I read the description, I'm like, oh, I know who that is. Oh, shit. Uh, Lizzie runs in. Yep. Um, casting that two action spell thing of confusion. Towards Salafus? Okay. Yeah. Two actions, auditory concentrate, you stoke at discontent. Let me hear what you say. Don't listen to him. I am the real mayor. Oh, I see what you're doing. I like that. Let's roll that deception check. Or the function. You got this. Oh, hell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. Guys, the count that's over. God fucking damn it. It's over. Critic. Critical success. <gasps> yes. Yes. Salafis is stunned one as she struggles to reclaim her identity, allowing the PCs to take her in the Wait, Stunned really? for a minute. Oh, oh. Let me tell you what that means. <laughs> Zero action. 60 seconds. Oh, yeah, we can definitely Success! Success! I knew one away. Success. Wow. Stunned one as she tries to sort out the conflict. And each successful success increases your stun value by one. If she ever reaches stun four, they get a critical success instead. Oh, you know what's interesting? Asanda technically has the traits of every one of the school branches for all girls' benefits. So Lizzie got a 35. That makes mm. sense that you guys get benefit for that. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nice. wow. Hey, you guys, that's, that's fine. I mean, I'm going to give it to you. Because once 
once this happens and, and they, they fall to the floor, this guy throws his weapon down and like tries to flee. They ain't gonna start fighting this shit by himself. We'll let him go, we yeah. yeah. So, by the way, guys, this is a lose, this is a illusionary scene. Easiest spot it's, ever. It's not illusionary <laughs> scene. This is this is like fail. Oh, well, I guess so. They're all real people. No, they're uh, not. No, oh, okay. no, no, no. Mm. So you remember what happened with the uh, the, the head, the, the frog? The, 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 the frog the thing that happened to you. Yeah, that was this. No. Oh, okay. okay. That's why I was laughing because I just realized what it was. <laughs> it is a illusory scene. The crowd here is a high level illusory scene. South is created to practice his deception. It is very complex that people can actually interact back with him. Hmm. Yeah, he's yeah, literally he, gone he, he so keeps mad. working on it over he, like, and over. Oh, it mentions that if the fight was going against him, because he would start combat with Cloak of Colors. Oh my god, that'd be so good. He does Morphic Weapon. Guys, I want to show you this art for Salamis. Yeah, yeah, let me see, let me see the yeah. art. Oh, yeah, yeah, his art is pretty badass. <laughs> his art is. He t uh, she turns her arm into a fucking, like, tentacle with a scythe at the end of it. Oh! oh. What? Oh. Yeah, it's sick. It's a lot of damage, guys. She hurts. She hurts! A uh, plus twenty to hit. You just hold, Listen, you just hold the plus ball. twenty, yeah. plus twenty to hit. Reach ten feet. I'm surprised that worked. Plus eight damage. Ow. Ooh. And she would have had cloak of colors on, which would have been nasty. Lizzie MVP. And yeah. Lizzie ended it. Stop, Lizzie. She falls. To, guys, something happens. And I want you all to listen very carefully as Asanda falls yeah. to her knees. Ooh. What? Am I? Salafis says as she grabs at her head and shakes visibly before shuddering form suddenly. Shuffling. I put shuddering and I meant shuffling. I'm going to retype that. Shuffling? I guess I spelled that right. There we go. Shuffling forms suddenly. What stands before you is not a man, nor a snake, nor a woman. It's an amalgamation of flesh. Resembling a humanoid form with jagged claws, but no eyes or other facial features to be seen. Kate, very quickly, roll me an occultism check. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. This is actually, I wish I had her up point right here. This is where I wish I had her up point if I needed it. Yeah, fuck. Oh. Uh. Yeah, see. Eh, no. Can anybody else try? Or? Uh... You have to be an expert in occultism. Mm. Are you expert, Lizzie, yet or no? I don't know. Let me see. Uh, no. Train. Hold on one second, guys. I'm going to show this to you. This new combat begin. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what stands before you. <gasps> oh. 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 She's wow. a, a, a faceless walker. Yep. Wait, is that what's oh, called? What? A faceless, a faceless something. Stalker. Yeah, face no stalker. No eyes or other facial features to see. But as this shift happens, almost immediately as oh. this appears before you, several forms reappear from amongst its flesh. That of Asanta, one of his arms, and part of his face. Then of the serpent folk that you never got a chance to see. Another arm, its feet, and finally of Aleshi, part of its pumpkin head. Smile. Mm -hmm. I do What? I do it. Well, no. you said working with the organization. You did not no. know it was. Remember in the journal, <sighs> I, the old. I would get a better position than my old one on the campus. Oh yeah, I know. But I knew she was part of the organization somehow. I knew she was a spy. Wait, so she was Autumn, in the mirror. Uh, it was, uh, was uh, part it? of it. Autumn no. is the lapis. So Autumn, Autumn is the is face the of stalker. Autumn is the mistress. And the mistress. Yeah. And... Wow. Oh, never got me again. Never got me again. <laughs> I knew what she was. What do you do in this moment as I you knew. see this happen? Just it's like the, the corpse is just like a corpse, but the body is just shuddering, swapping between all these different options. They're still stuck for a minute. Restrain them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Mm -hmm. So actually, out of character, she was a faceless stalker who infiltrated the, the Serpent Folk and became the leader of the Serpent Folks, right? Yeah. It's yeah. more than that. It's, oh it's deeper it's than that. It's more than that. That's why. That's crazy. The story, the story is lost. It's one I've devised, by mm -hmm. the way. 
because by default, Salafus is a man, but I've been working on this for a very long time. When you guys thought that she was suspicious, I was like, fuck it, I'm going to play that shit. So I made a faceless stalker who originally had no home, doesn't even remember who they were, so found these leshies that were very easy to copy and infiltrated the leshies, didn't have a home. Tried to command them, which technically worked, but wanted more, and then happened across the snake folks and saw how they were easily able to capture and, and look like different people. So used its ability to mimic very well to do that, because faceless stalkers can almost become another yeah. person. So all these people who believe that they're crazy, remember even Asanda mentioned there's something different about this one. She actually assumes the role forever. Other snakes can't really do that very well. Faceless stalkers can live someone else's life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, there's a faceless stalker you deal with um, in, in uh, Hell's Vengeance. That they literally have been there for like thirty years, and no one knows that they're face lovers because they literally take on a new persona and they don't uh, live with that forever. And they don't have to have to change this that. This faceless stalker came across, which would make no sense how she could transform her arm into a fucking tentacle, so it played very well into it. Yeah, they came across the the snakes, and Salafus thought something was off because she originally was disguised as a different snake bull. And well, Autumn killed Salafus originally, took over as Salafus, and was. The planes change, and they're like, hey, I can keep doing this very well. I, I want more. I want more. I want more. And then started orientating the entire group towards ruling Antonio. Now, not malevolent or a malevolence. No, not malicious by any means. Wanted more. Awesome. Wasn't going to like – it was just power. But like yeah. she, in the event that her plan would have worked, she would have gone beyond that to go to Absalom and things like that, which would have eventually gotten her caught. But she never was trying to do it to do anything bad. But to uphold that level of nastiness, they had to do bad things. But while they were under her control, the Snurfer Monks weren't doing anything else. And whatever their original mission was, remember they mentioned our original reason why we came in at Tambu? Mm -hmm. That went to the wayside. Oh. Now, it also explains why a random person found interest in this artifact. Because it's power. I wouldn't understand it, but... I'm sorry, Dancy. Remember the last thing that she said to you is I'm going to go away for a while. Yeah. Oh. I told you, though. I knew because, look, she, there's no way she knew about this book if she wasn't certain for it. She even called about the dream. I don't know why she told me about the damn dream in the first place, but. It scattered she memories. Crazy. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. she, she was remembering things from other lives and then realized she fucked up. And when you kept bringing it up, she's like, I got to go. I realized it was a slip up, and that's. At some point shortly after that, was realizing you guys were getting closer and closer. The sigh you heard was her knocking you out, but didn't want to kill you because uh, her goal isn't to kill people. She did kill the mayor. She wasn't actually just killing people. She was power hungry. She's power hungry. Now, yeah, I mean, there was more problems to the people because she didn't understand what was going on like, defensively. Um, now mm -hmm. that you guys have taken her into custody, and then you get her outside. Does she have a newt? I was like, she, she does have a few things on her. Most of her stuff fell off of her body. Um, there is a single locket with an image drawn on the inside of it. Just a small piece of paper. It looks like it was watertight of a mushroom cat. Hmm. Aww. Hand it over. We'll definitely give it to moon cap, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she also has these that fell off her body again when she was transforming there are these really nice stiff leather bracers um there is a neck another it's a choker it looks like a torque one that you would put on and only kind of goes halfway across like almost to your your, your throat mm -hmm. but that's it kind of kind of it's kind of like um no staff of power you know, you know how certain torques you can put on your head but like they only come to your temple on the yeah. sides it's yeah. like that for your neck. So, like, your, your throat is open in the middle, but it, it, it hangs on the back of your neck, kind of like how people well, we'll look with earbuds. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put them in the party for right now. Yeah. Thank you. That was very anticlimactic on my part, guys. I apologize. No, 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 it was good. It was way better than what the other group no, did. I, so. like, we actually, I don't know if I prefer that, but, like, I think that it's interesting the way it ended because we found out that the whole phaser spot, I think, so probably when I found it out, if, it was, if we didn't use these action, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And also, if you didn't trust the first mayor, you knocked him out or was rude yeah. to him and things like that, you wouldn't have gotten the clue. I, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. Murder yeah. Murder parties hard. failed pretty hard. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Salafis Choker. Uh, yeah, Choker. Is the best one Choker, right? Oh, yeah. 
This is G11. And then Salathis. All she has Aceless on. Stalker, though. Interesting. Aceless Stalker. Well, I told you, didn't I, Mariah? I changed everything. That story would never come to light. It sucks because when they question her afterwards, she can never be questioned again. Mm-hmm. And you've done more than this. Jesus. The critical, you have snapped her psyche. Like, she is gone. Mm. There was so many. Killing her. <laughs> it it might have been, but you stopped her. But that was yeah. the only way because she yeah. would have killed you. Mm-hmm. In this situation, she realized that Rouge was up and had to defend her power. She didn't, she wasn't doing it again most she to kill you because she just wants to kill you. She feels like she has to. She's been under this ruse for so long that she's even lost why she even started it to begin with. Do you have a mental ward at Magambia? <laughs> um, where is my song stuff at? Oh, here we go. We are not we are not about to rehabilitate a theft and face the stalker. <laughs> <laughs> Take her outside. I mean, that'll be interesting. Pat, the the mayor is kind of like hobbling down the hallway as you do, and you see him, uh, and he goes, "What? What the bloody hell do you have there? What is that?" Uh, this is fit with this. We don't know it's a face stalker, so. Oh, I love that the There's two granite scales in there. It's only supposed to be one. It's funny. Okay, I gotta fix that. Um. Once you have defeated Salafus and her minions from the mansion, you're outside. It's the first time you get a sense that Marison is seeing the outside of his mansion and he takes stock of her. It's not every day that one has to get help to kick themselves out of their own home. It has been a harrowing time. Thanks to you, those times are over. Or it may just be beginning, since I doubt my captain was very effective in actually connecting with and helping the people of Natan who are impersonating me. I assume that's why you're here. Oh, yeah. Something she was terrible. Miss. She was uh, not bad. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. It hurts to laugh. It's a bit of bruised ribs, I'm sure. He sighs, though, and he goes, ah, but it was yesterday. That was all yesterday. And he's looking at you, not looking at this man. He's talking to you. You get a sense of, like, he's the kind of person that is a good thing. Today, my first order of business is to restore people's faith in me. My second is to have actual laborers repair this place. What the bloody hells? Look at it. It's ruined. Yeah, you oh, have snakes over there. Well, there's still a couple monsters around here. I'll we'll probably have to clear those out. But... Yeah, but the yeah. fishies here are nice. Don't kill the fish, yo. Mm-hmm. The fish, thanks. And, you know, we're here to help, too. Problem for another time. Look, I must ask a favor of you. I know you've done a lot, but please, you have to hear me out. I must ask you keep the details of the serpent folks infiltration a secret uh, there's no telling what sort of paranoia and suspicion this news might unleash hmm. on that for okay. the moment i am willing to shoulder the burden of the people thinking that i am just irresponsible and unresponsive and lax in my duties but i do not want to risk citywide panic to let them know how close serpent folk came to infiltrating in Tambu's government Speaking uh, to somebody who has been paranoid for the last couple of years, given what's happened, knowing this was be, going to be the result, I can safely say that a, a lot of people cannot handle this kind of information. It would cause world why why panic. Um, that's that said, I encourage you to share the truth with anyone who chooses amongst the Macambia. The faculty, there in, in particular, they are, understand discretion very well. We've worked to close knits for some time. I recommend you yeah. for the uh, for the time. One of the so faculty is present us here. So. Go and speak and report it to your supervisor. Uh, for the moment, I uh, and he looks at his mansion and he kind of just sighs. I've got a bit of work to do. Yep. Yeah, a lot yeah. to work. But hey, you know, you can come by the bar and we can go get a drink and talk. You know. I mean. <laughs> Get to I know mean, each yeah, other better. For another time, my friend. I'm sorry. And again, I'm not kissing you. I, I didn't ask for a kiss, just a hangout. Really? I didn't you guys awfully close. I, I wasn't really sure what you uh, I haven't had human hey, contact in a while, uh, besides talking to myself. Anyway, please go report to your supervisor and leave me to uh, the work I have to do. 
Okay. Yeah, uh, meet you back on a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. As we're walking, um, Mooncap and uh, uh, Kate's gonna like walk a little bit ahead with Mooncap if he wants. He he, he motions for Mooncap to walk a little bit ahead with him. Yes, Kate. Uh, are you okay? Mostly. It's been a lot. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm sorry I had to be right, my friend, but uh, I just didn't want you to get hurt, that's all. It was nice when she was autumn. Yes, well, um... Hey, you do believe there was more autumn in there than originally believed. Like, yeah, that yeah, locket, yeah, exactly. that locket makes no nice sense. About this. That's why he's like, oh, I told you so, dummy. Like, yeah, the fact that she had, like, a, a, like a locket... Obviously meant that like there was a lot of that that, that personality meant a lot to her uh, or it. So um, I think the time she had with you was her way uh, or its way of trying to rationalize. I do think you helped it in your own way. I mean, that, that's what I tried to do. I, do I think that's. Telling. I think this is city guard about her. Yeah, I mean, we're walking around with her, so I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean the whole conspiracy thing. We should definitely I mean, report this at Ott and John and Timo for sure. Yeah, we're gonna have this, but like, he he asked you not to share in the public, but the, if you could, if you wanted to share it with people in the back, the teachers are no discretion. But yeah. it's up to you. Perhaps hide it from the Chime Ringer, but tell the professor to see what they do. So it's just going to entrench the power structure even further. Yes. Well, you also is. don't know how far the infiltration goes if you go and alert the Chime Ringers. Remember, the Chime Ringers work for Asanda. You could be reporting to another server vault. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's why I'm not talking to them. Uh, mm -hmm. Speaking of it, uh, Tintanamo and I actually have been... I was going to share this eventually, but... We actually knew about this for a while. We've been talking about this. Uh, um, conspiracy. Uh, I, I bring it up now because he brought you in a little bit, but we've had some dealings with about it. Uh, we'll bring you up to speed. Oh, and then we also have to talk to Ulala. Oh, yeah. We do need to talk to Ulala. Hey. We'll talk to Let's go report it, and then well, let's actually let's hand off this uh, faceless doc. Well, I don't say this. So hand over the the serpent folk or at some point while there. you're walking, it looks like just a generic woman walking. That's good. We'll hand her over, and then that's like, <laughs> don't want to attract don't want to attract any attention. The eyes, the eyes are just like solid black, like they're dead. Like you don't think there's anything behind it. it looks like the muscle memory of I was just some random woman. Don't walk in the street as a flesh monster. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll, we'll head them over. And we'll go to Gentino, get the report in, and then we can go see Asanda. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome back, everyone. Please give me as much detail as you are able in the evidence you found, the like. Uh, uh, so, like, so, this hey, is the faceless person. That's how interesting way to start it. Uh, this is a faceless person, and I see a face on uh, this woman before you. Well, she meant faceless this stalker. Creature, <laughs> Go ahead, this Kate. creature here is not a serpent folk. It took on the personality of Autumn, the little leshy that was friends with Mooncap, um, the, and the serpent folk as well. This creature is some kind of he explains what it looked like. He didn't, he didn't understand what it was, so. That is very interesting. One of those who are embedded so deeply. A lot of times they never make themselves known unless they are in hives, but as far as you know, and which is what's very interesting about faceless stalkers, sometimes they're born into that role and they don't even realize that they are different. If that makes any sense, like for when one of us could even be one right now and never know it. Because you were not born as a faceless one. Uh, I understand the uh, mahogany. Mahogany. <laughs> uh, 
mahogany? Is that no, like I, 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 I prefer like, gold myself. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Code word, right? Code word. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been replaced code work. <laughs> Do you share with him the notes from the mayor and the, the journal that yeah, you found? Yeah, everything. Do you not share anything with him, specifically? No, we share everything with him. I don't have reason not to trust him. Mm-hmm. So, that's, listen, I am beyond impressed with what you did. You let several of them go. That shows a bit of humility. And they will remember that. Violence begets violence, and in this situation, they can infiltrate anywhere. I just wish that we could have done something more for Miss uh, Tull. Either way, I set the bar high, and you have soared over it. What kind of story this would be if one could tell it, he muses. As far as what Asanda has asked of you, I fully understand the Master Magistrate Mayor's caution. And I support his request to keep this plot a secret. I hope you will all do the same. As do I, as a person, as I spoke to him about it, as a person who's been a one of the paranoid and seen the out, you seen through the uh, the veil as it is. Mm -hmm. I do not wish that upon everybody. So he opens up the journal and everything else that you share. He's got to lay that before him. Do you mind if we spend some time to discuss this? Please, any notions to all the seats nearby for your current city? Yeah, let's discuss. Of course. Okay. We, this is not something I want to role play, but it mentions that if we were interested in this, you go back and forth over like theories, like you did the very first time you met him, like going around the table and stuff. You don't have to do that. But overall, because yeah. he speaks at you with length, several points become clear. And he will share these with you as he gets this information as you guys will do the whole, this is what I think is happening, and someone else goes, I think this is happening, and it's being completely false, right? Mm -hmm. The egg is an artifact of unknown ability and power. And like most artifacts, it has proven impervious to damage. The egg plainly drew the insects, gremlins, and other pests plaguing the Magambia in recent years. It is... It was likely also responsible for drawing the Anatis to their school, which I would like to note was an unexpected benefit because they have intrigue or intrigue was a inter intermingled interweaved. They have entered the school and are doing very well. Kori Ulawa kept a private laboratory in the Hababe building, just on the other side of a solid wall of a sword. I believe that teacher Ulawa didn't understand the danger that the artifact posed, and she certainly wasn't working for the serpent folk, otherwise Salatis wouldn't have had to work to keep a studies of the egg secret. But this is what's discovered after that time, and again, that would have been after several conversations. This would have been his theories. After the discussion, he takes a short moment to ponder. He stands and paces a few moments back and forth. You guys might even like whisper one or two things to each other, and he stops and he goes... I would like to invite you to come with me as I go speak to Corey about the dealing with the egg. Yes. Yeah, let's go. Cool. He throws on a, a scarf and a little hat and he walks out the door. Hmm. Uh, we I wonder well, if I can trust that Ulawa would do this. Are you going with him? He's going now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. Janani Mo knocks on Teacher Ulawa's office door. Isn't there one for office? Yeah, I'm just going knocks on her door, and after a moment, it opens. Magically, of course, a lot of people do that. She gets observed in her work, he says with a shrug. Teacher Ulawa's office is brimming with curios and oddities. And she sits at her desk. And I've got new art for Corby. You guys like art, right? Of course. Hell yeah. Of course. Yeah. Let, me, let me share a couple of extra things here for you. Here's the full What's art. What does this egg look like? That's Asanda. I'm just sharing some handouts that I didn't share from before. That caster that you guys fought and that like, like got away and gave you the first bit of information. That's what she does. Oh, she looks badass. Look at that fucking staff. Oh my god, I want that. Give it that here. That was the staff evolution. This the full art of that great road there. Oh yeah, we never um, talked to them. Hmm. Oh, look that thing up. Look <laughs> what up. <laughs> I don't. It's Adder. Was it? What's called aberration, that right? That's not anything. It's gotta be. Oh, this was the assassin that you guys fought. Oh, yeah. Uh, poison on that long-ass rapier. 
Zelda, Zelda reference, not really. I, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. He's a, uh, what, what's your call? Uh, I can't believe they're called in Gambia. Interesting. This wasn't a handout I showed you before. This is uh, another one of the frog poems that you guys should have fought for early on. They were popped up. But that's oh. there anyway. I was going through the handouts I haven't shared. Huh. Well, what are the uh, you're right. There was a, there was, I'm into it. I'm going down the list. There was a big ass alligator in the other war for nasty looking alligator. Yeah, we, we were lucky. You guys didn't go for the butt. <laughs> that is, that's an out. It's, it's, no. it's very nasty. Then there's the granite scales. Yeah, it's like a T Rex. Alex. Here are the, uh, the ones that you talked out of a fight. The men of colors, they are really nasty. And huh. then. Oh, so those are the ones that, uh, do faint and they stab you with visual weapons and. And then I forgot to even share this. Look at this cool shit. The cover of the adventure. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, there's no you know, serpent you, you, conspiracy. You would, <laughs> yeah. you would think, though, when you, uh, I know we didn't do this. Like, uh, also, also, you can talk shit. You Are you see ready? This, when you see this, when there's a lot of water, we should have taken water as part of walking. Yeah. Are yeah. you ready to see Corey Lawa's art from book two? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Just an egg. Just an egg, huh? Uh-huh. Just an egg. Just an egg. Thank you. Yeah. Love you. the hold. <laughs> it's, her office is full of curious and curiosity. She sits at the desk with the vescient egg in front of her, staring at it in wonder as the trails of acid that drip down its sides burns and scars a metal plate beneath it. Gentanimo clears his throat and smiles. Teacher, uh, teacher Loa looks up, sees her visitors, and smiles back. Oh, um, greetings. What, what can I do for you, Clark One? And your, oh god, tagalongs? She says, looking past him. He speaks up first, saying, That is an interesting career you have there. But what are your thoughts about it? He asks her, not revealing what he already knows about it. She quickly explains its physical basics. Oh, well, it seems acid, like it. Like that created by insects, it's invulnerable to damage, and insects act strangely in its presence. But it doesn't seem to do anything, and thus I think it's something of a dud, as far as artifacts go anyway. Hmm. Jotaro then turns towards you, saying, Well, my tag alongs, I encourage you, please give a full of counting on what you have learned to this Orino Lava. I mean, can we just say we do? Cause I can... If you want to. Yeah. 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 Do you spare any detail? Uh, no. No, it's tell her everything that we know. You also know that she has the egg. I'm rather surprised at this revelation, she says, but she nods along. It certainly puts a lot of my conjecture into place. This is all surprisingly insightful, actually. And I'm not one to shy away from sensible analysis. And you're making sense. Many people don't like Cory, but many people know that she is too dedicated and academic to ignore facts and reason. They must acknowledge that there, is, there isn't anything to do but dispose of the, the, the vessel that it, it can't be destroyed unless dedicated research to its destruction method is performed. I will work with my colleagues to do so, even if the vessel egg doesn't need to be destroyed, understanding an artifact's method of destruction often gives insights into how its abilities might be neutralized. But this research will take time, and in the meantime, the Vessian Egg should be taken someplace where it can't do any harm on campus or its faculty and its students. The Antonimo adds, As certainly it can't stay on campus, in Nantamu or any other settlement. Uh, correct you are, learned one. Uh, there are distant places in the Gambia Expanse that might suffice, or even areas in other planes. Uh, I will research these with my colleagues and find a solution. I promise you, Chaitanya, that I'll do so by the end of the month and report back to you promptly. Chaitanya smiles and gives her a humble bow. This is an amendable approach. Thank you, Corbett. I hope to speak to you soon. And he motions to the door and at the, you know, ahead of him for you all to leave her office. Yeah. Yeah. Pile up. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Professor. I have no reason to disbelieve that she will do this. She is a very amenable person when she says I might do something. But it's a good thing to confirm that she was not aware of these endeavors. For the moment, I believe this has been handled. But 
For the moment, you all look a little haggard. I can see it in your eyes. Please go get some rest. We will speak again very soon. It's been a long day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's go to bed. Oh, actually, before we go to bed, let's look at these items. Yeah, Two let's items. Yeah. Uh huh. It takes we me two minutes. No, we, we, we can get to that. Don't worry about it yet. Okay. All right. In the weeks that follow, Magistrate Mayor Salando works tirelessly to restore an Antonio. He directs the chime ringers to focus on dismantling Frog Legs' criminal network rather than simply dealing with the low level precipitators and victims. And works towards helping those who are most affected by recent changes in laws. He commissioned city laborers to shore up infrastructure, including the failed canals and noxious deep swamp, filling it up so it's not a nasty harbor, improving the life of a lot of those who do live out there. But finally, he works with the Magambia on the best magical deterrents to prevent this type of infiltration from happening again. A lot of the teachers learn a new way to do tech magic, which if Mariah was actually focusing on it when I gave her that option a while back, she would have been able to pick this oh up. Oh my god, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> and you would have had it pretty early. It would have very well helped in certain situations. Mm-hmm. Asanda also leverages his connections to reward your party with the two items affiliated with the Magambia and Nintama. A suit of leopard's armor and a war caller's chime of refuge. He has these items delivered to the Spire Dormitory. Along, uh, within a few days after you rescue him, Along with several fine chocolates on an elegant silver tray worth 500 pesos. Oh, yes. We're, we're so gonna we're, we're gonna come around. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up on the downside of the stuff. Let me look at my my stuff. Wait, yeah, sorry. This, are this we doing is the point. Now, or? This would be the point. We, we're gonna get there. Uh, you know what? That would be a really cool place to pick. I, I wanted to pick up at a specific spot. We get to the school rolls and stuff, but. The downtime's coming up. I feel like that could be, like, a good session for us. Like, we could figure out... I mean, it's going to be a lot of stuff because, like... It's going to be a lot of stuff that we need to actually cover. But the school rolls come at some point, technically. Oh, yeah, the school rolls are coming up. Winter break begins, and then there's a final school check. We're going to come back around to the school check here. No, wait, we had to do the school checks first. A few weeks pass by from this point. I'm going to keep track of how many weeks pass by. I'm going to keep the X where it's at. But let's go ahead and do school rolls real quick while I add these items to y'all's party loot that was given to you. I can even share them as other people trying to figure out what they're going to do. I think that leather armor is going to be. <laughs> at least, I think. Yeah. Hmm. It's chain mail. Is hay mail? I mean, I can't. Yeah, I mean, it's like a hard... Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to suck it up to the speed penalty. He just says what it is. Well it's more than that. You don't have training in medium armor, I don't think. Oh, oh. it's chain mail. I thought it was chain shirt. Yeah, no. No, it's mail. I guess we sell it then, because no one could use it. I mean we have to, <laughs> yeah. we have to wear it. We're, we're there you go. Oh, that's a lot of money though. We can take the plus one result. Wait, we can take the plus one result. You cannot. Why not? It's named armor. Oh. oh. Yeah, named armor can't be all right then I guess we need it. <laughs> but also negative two to pull the out of here I don't want that only when you have the effect active yeah, only when the effects happen oh that's and once that's per day though 150 guild divided by four people by that's four. Four. Mm. yeah I see this uh four callers which I know I really wanted this one I really uh, wanted this one too yeah here is the uh, the war college trying to refuse it's refuge. Uh-huh. Oh, sanctuary. sanctuary! I mean, it's DC twenty, DC twenty rolls. Sanctuary is pretty easy to get. Though. I mean, we might as well sell both of them. Very point, easy yeah. to get. Yeah, might as well. Sell, yeah, you're right. Sell both. Hmm. Want to sell both? Let's go ahead. Well, well let me see what sanctuary does first. That's hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey, you can't make hostile actions by any means, but if an enemy tries to do one against you, then make that DC 20 world yeah. save. Oh, it's a level 1 spell, too. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we got when we sell the other items, too. We should have enough books. Uh, yeah, you might as well sell that. 
250 and 350 is 600. Am I doing yeah, the math yeah. right? Okay. Right, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add those. I'm also going to say that you saw that silver platter. Yep. Yeah. What about the – we're going to look over the choker and the brazers. I think the yep. brazers are the brazers. There's going to be enough time that I'm just going to give those to you that kind of speeds yeah, I mean, along. We have weeks. I only need a minute. For a minute per day, yeah. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm just going to share them real quick. You guys can see these too as I do. This one's really cool. I think the brazier just brazier wrong. I don't know what this this uh, choker is though. Oh my god, I am aligned. There it is. I found it. Edit and uh, okay, please copy. Enter, paste, save, and then uh, this is what it does. Oh, yeah, it's a choker of elocution. So in society, uh, and Cade, I would love to have this. Yeah, it yeah, also gives keep you it. a new language. And it parts Zamba, which is a regional language spoken by many in Antonio. It's the it's I the would love to have this if no one else wants it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Small give it to you. Water. All yours. Hell yeah. Okay, so I get the, that I get that language specifically. Yeah, I did. And I think that I did this right. I did. These were her bracers. Ooh. Bracers are our type one. What? So what are bracers? Is that like armor? Or yeah, plus one it, item, so it's, it's, Yeah, you can't wear armor. So either oh. me, Lizzie, or, or I can all help you use these. Anyone can use those. Even she can use them. No, no, no. I, everyone with Mooncap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mooncap would benefit from it. Yeah, because I'm already getting an item bonus for my armor. Yeah, but the rest of us could, so... Oh, so it's like explorer's clothing, or I'm confused. No, and yeah, it, it's it's as if you put a plus one resilient rune on explorer's clothing. It's the same thing. So can we add runes onto this or no? Yeah, this could these could be upgraded going forward. Oh, wow. cool. I mean, what would you put on it? I have no clue. Any armor? I don't wear armor now, so I could use this as well. Uh, I, I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of all that jewelry too that you found on that one guy. Mm. Mm. I said, let's give it to Cade. Well, already, I mean, if, the, if someone else wants it. I, I think give it to Kate. He has the higher armor chest. Me, Lizzie, just get hit. We're, we're, yeah, we're, I'm, I'm okay. Did you, you, know, you, I accept did you drag hit. and drop that collar into your inventory, Kate? I did, yes. All right, did you update what, the, what language it gives based on the handout? I'm handle? putting it in my thing right now. And it is also vested. Oh, so is that. Wait, isn't the Mask of Mercy invested too? Uh, it should be, yeah. That. You've got a lot of invested items. I do. Yeah, you're at a uh, five of ten. Currently, I am. My glasses and sword ability make me look. Are you also armor. taking the bracers? Man, are you giving someone yeah. else who can use armor class? They, they said to give it to me, so I'm taking it. I guess. Yeah, he's always in the front. The most. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, 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 we're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit no matter what. Worst. So we're not gonna. Oh, worst. Oh. Hmm. Worst comes to worst. Eventually, I get. Armor, and I'll just give this to whoever needs it. Exactly. It flies yeah. downhill. Yep. Okay. Sounds about right. You guys can pick up plus one runes with the gold that we have to split. Sure. All right. After selling everything, I'm going to just hold on that you guys have this on his notes and metal journal for right now, but you guys are at 1,052 gold. Ooh. Ooh, okay. We can do we can do shopping. Do we can do shopping next week when we're doing downtown? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I agree. Um, we're gonna do school checks here in a bit. Um, languages. I love that I speak the local dialect. I just feel so good.
big. Ooh, um, ooh it's oratory checks. Or like if I'm like casting a spell. So, uh, oh, I was supposed to five to three. Like, uh, it, it imparts the ability to speak and write. Their excellent ecto location or uh, uh, an ecto whatever. Raise a flat check to perform an auditory action like casting a spell. From deafened by five to three. That's really good. I mean, if you are deafened, but if you specifically use in that language. I mean, shit, I'll, I'll cast my spells in that language to lower the DC. Do you have a plus one bow? Or is no. it just a short bow? I have a... My, my bow is a plus one striking bow. Mm. It's, just, it's just not on there. It's just not on the stupid weapon for whatever reason, when, but the weapon is that, but it is a plus one striking bow. Uh, let's see. Let go to inventory. Yeah, we gotta put the racers in there as well. I just did. I'm, I'm updating them now. As you, on the weapon, it doesn't have to be my deadly either. We want to put the deadly in the weapon too. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm updating a lot of your macros now. Appreciate it. And. Uh, That's done. I'm going to go to your armor. And these are bracers of armor. One. Yep. They don't have any traits, but they do have a dex cap of five. You are trained in armor currently, right? Yes. Because I'm a rogue. I don't get I don't get expert trains of 13. <laughs> Up to the cloud. But you do hmm. get this. This. They're at their seat. There, I have updated your armor. You do have this here, of armor one. I added the item bonus that you got, as well as the item yep. bonus to your saving throws. Nice. I have 24 AC now. I feel like, I feel like a rogue. And then, okay. Um, I have the plus normal society let's, tech. I added the flame uh, let's, do, let's do some school rules. We'll start with Lizzie because you're the first token that I've grabbed here. Gotcha. This is important because I can get us to a really good ender before we technically just do downtime. The downtime is going to be covered between what you're about to see mm. and. I mean, technically, leading up, we're we're gonna do we're gonna go forward a little bit in time, and then when we come back last, next last week, we're gonna do a little bit of catch up on downtime. We technically might only spend like an hour doing it, and then we'll jump into content, um, depending on how much time we need. So, Lizzie, put your sheet. I help out as best I can here. That's what I want to do. It mentions that you should try to get eight in your skill. So I know you're gonna pick your main skill, which is Emerald bows. Of course. Which you would know is a deception, diplomacy, or society check. Deception. Got it, girl. You're level seven? Yep. That is a success. Lizzie, you are now technically a seven star. This is that over here. Seven star. Great. See, that was very easy. I go to Mariah next. I cried because I grip them last time. So. That's right. You have to do catch up, so you don't even get it, Shaq. You're going to be behind. Aww. Sorry. Is it the next two times or the next time you were to get this? This is the next time, the next time. The next time you would get an opportunity, you must skip it to catch up. That sucks. Okay. Right. Are you a six or are you at least a seven? I'm a five. Oh my God. Cause no, you're, bad. A, you're, a, you're a six. That's I'm right. Six, yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're going to be a remedial coming up. It's going to be interesting to see. All right, dancing. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm assuming you're doing your main, right? What yeah. do you have? Rain scribes six. Rain scribes. That's right. Rain scribes. Uh, nature, medicine, or survival. That is correct. I'm assuming nature. Yeah. Well, survival's the same. It doesn't matter. But okay, I got your DC. There you go. Oh, that is a nice. success. You are now seven. But you get immediately in seventh level game. What again? Oh, you uh, get your class feet. Yeah. Class feet. You What's get your class feet. feet so. for, uh, it's uh, it looks like a move in difficult terrain. It looks like a move in difficult terrain. No, it's the one where you like, don't have to eat it. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that one. 
then that's ones where you get difficult terrain. Yes. Because it designates squares, you're like, this is not difficult terrain. Yeah. Rain scribe sustenance, yeah. And that's something I could drag and drop into your sheet real quick. Hold on, I'll help you out. I don't know what the Emerald Bowls, but the Emerald Bowls one's the, to view society distances, maybe? I think so. I'm curious now. All right. It up here, there it is. You know how this. Yep. Yeah, I have to sleep six hours. Oh, that's good. I don't have to eat for a week. <laughs> and then. Yeah, you can use the five of which is weird. And then, like once per week, you essentially just choose not to. Not to sleep. Whatever, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Stay out. Uh, stay on and watch. And last. Night. But still Lastly, we go to Cade. To your level at currently seven. Yeah. I'm a, yeah, you can't re-roll. I mean, that's a success. You're a seven star. Nice. As score rolls out, I'm doing this because it would be weird to open up and what I'm about to tell you guys, but it'd be easier to do this now. And then when we come back in, we can even technically, because I'm going to try my, I'll be at my computer doing tons of prep coming up. I can kind of help shortcut a lot of stuff, but in the event that we still need it, we can spend some time next week to make sure the downtime's done right. Moon day, the 13th of Gosrin, 47, I put 23 in here, but it should be 25, right? Yes. Let me look. Well, we started in 21, right? It's been four years, yeah. Win a break. Final check. Oh, it is 26. Okay, good. I'm glad I looked. It's the next year. It's after your winter break. Ross Gosrin. Yep. 13th moon day Gosrin. 47 26. It's literally about 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven weeks till the end of the school year. Okay. Jatanibo, ask all of you once again to join him at the Black Crown Crane Restaurant for another storytelling event at noon this day in your finest attire. You guys remember the storytelling event you guys did? Yep. Yep. Yeah. We have another mini one. I know that we are about over, but this will be pretty fun. So you guys get dressed up, gussy up. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I, I, I kind of work. I kind of work here every once in a while, so yeah. So. <laughs> if if it matters, Lizzie, this would be after your downtime, essentially. So like a lot of things have changed, but the exact timing you get is a little bit. You arrive in Jatanimo gestures to comfortable seats in a nice corner of the restaurant. I am sure I do not need to discuss the rules with you again, but there is a bit of a change in the lineup this time. I will be going on first for storytelling. Ooh. And he turns on his heels and approaches the stage with incredible poise and confidence. And you do you all take seats in the nice comfy chairs in the little booth. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thanks. He pulls out a very familiar journal to Dancing Mooncap, the money he was writing it several times. He opens it up and clears his throat. Stade, first of Aristus, 47, 23. Even before I set down my satchel, after returning from my travels, Takulu Ot spoke breathlessly about a group of students who fought off insects, confronted an expelled pupil we all thought to be dead, and defeated griffins that had decided to feast upon mysterious and naughty arrivals. My role needed the Uzu Janti, and my love for a good story demanded that I ask Takulu about these students. He supplied me more information over dinner, and my initial interest turned to fascination. I have decided that I shall speak to them, and... If they are even partially inter as interesting as Takumu made them out to be, offer my hand to guide their efforts. These stories I hear about them fascinate me. Yes, but what I want them to know and deeply understand is that stories of the past build the events to today. What brought the Griffins to this world? Where did they come from? Griffins do not normally prey on the Nazis. Why did they attack those poor students? And for that matter, what attracted the students here in the first place? We've welcomed them to the school, but it seems wise to understand their motivations and 
their goals. Getting the students to think about the answers to these questions, to pose their own theories, and then to investigate the truth of the situation is far more important to their education than learning spells or rituals. Let's get them to see what lies beneath, and then we can see what that leads together. Flips a couple of pages in this book. Of day, Titha Farast, 47, 26. This was a few months ago. So often I see people meet in the circumstances on the level they were confronted. Violence meets violence. Pettiness begets pettiness. It is so rare to find individuals who, when challenged, rise above and find a part of them that is better than the circumstances dictate. It is not that they ignore the realities of what is happening around them, but rather than those realities becoming a starting point to investigate and explore, they go deeper. And by going deeper, they address what lies in front of them, but also what could awake them and others. To approach life in this way is to blaze a trail that others can follow and will follow. Take these concerns, for example, and emotions to your table. They have been given several tasks in their world. They have completed these tasks admirably, but they have not confined their thinking to only the performance of their duty. They have drawn the connections between them. They have discovered the patterns and underlying conditions that cause those tasks that needed to be done. Repeatedly, they show that they go further than is expected or even known to be needed. They've taken down, at least for a time, a crime boss who is the source of growing corruption in our city. These conservatives know these heroes have learned that there is a difference between negligence and corruption, possibly because of some snakes among us. These heroes have blazed a path that leads them into the heart of this corruption and perhaps beyond. I do not know where their full ambitions lie, but from where I stand, I can see that they will soon propel themselves past the realms where the Magambia can teach them. I never seen a rise so sudden in this school, but I suspect we'll have, we'll, we will have little time to complete Complicate. God, my God, I'm so bad. Contemplate is the word I was trying to get out. My surprise before they display their heart and talent yet again. My tale, everyone, is far from over. But my time is precious. At any rate, I have a graduation ceremony to prepare. And he closes his book. And still from the stage, now orientates his conversation to you. You have done excellent work as conservants. You used your abilities and knowledge to create incredible bonds with the people around you. You came to the defense of those who needed it and you did your power where it would do the best. You have shown cleverness, resourcefulness, and resilience in troubled times. You have been impeccable conservants. But here, and he gets a very sad face, is where we have a problem. And then he goes back to a smile. As students, it appears, we don't have much left to teach you. Your time as conservants and as students at Magambia is over. Go to graduate and become law speakers. And many within the restaurants, you can tell now we're kind of like suddenly other speakers and teachers. The whole place is filled with faces that you've seen across the Magambia. Lord Mayor Son is there and a couple of other rich Nintambu people, and the applause echoes loudly across this entire place in your direction, and very enthusiastically, including Jetanima, who steps down off the stage as food is brought to your table in troves. He then takes a seat amongst you and lets out a very pleased sigh. Congratulations, everyone, he says with a very knowing nod. That said, I would like to put a stipulation on your advancement that you stay at the Magambia for a time as teachers of the same block together. This means that you will have to share the same group of students but teach different subjects. Also, as teachers, 
you can impart your special skills and talent to others. But this also lets other senior faculty members and I help you develop a bit more. You have advanced so quickly through your talent and hard work that it's difficult for some staff to believe that you are ready to be at this point. And the probationary period will allow you to prove that graduation is both deserved and appropriate. And he reinforces his pride in you by adding, look, I told you that I would be telling your stories and I am certainly in the process of doing that. But for the moment, if you accept these terms and conditions, and he looks to see what you all say when he asks that before he continues. I mean, what yes. does that look like, he says? Yeah, of course. I'm gonna be teaching my own class. Oh my God, the Professor Mizaki. Jason, what do you say to this? Are you okay with teaching with everyone else instead of being I your own teacher? Yeah. But I want you to prepare for your law speaker ceremony in two weeks. Unlike the converse, the conservant ceremony, there is no need for to invite specific people. The whole of Mugabe will be there to witness your graduate. I want you each to think about what you most need to learn about magic's connection to the world. Now that you have learned that the school can teach you as students, what is it that you now seek to learn? So I ask each of you to prepare a small speech on this subject at the ceremony. And make sure he locks eyes with everyone and everyone does that. And then he stands. Enjoy your meal, drinks in each other's company, and congratulations once again. And he leaves the building with a smile. Before he leaves, um, Kate will uh, hand him something, an invitation of sorts. Oh God, what is it? I mean, it's obviously for our wedding. Oh, okay. Our wedding! Oh, wow. With that, I'm going to end today's session. We're going to pick up with the information about how the graduation is going to be coming up. You guys have a lot of work on your table. You need to start thinking about your speech. It is something that's going to be expected of you. Yep. And, uh, well, again, we'll, we'll back up several weeks and do the, the, the downtime. I can go ahead and tell you what you're looking in for. You can kind of start pseudo preparing for it. Mm -hmm. From that 13th, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Twenty-eight and twenty-three. Mm -hmm. There are fifty-one days of downtime because now that you guys are celebrating, you know, since you're getting ready to graduate, there's a lot of more pressure on you, and you only have like two or three Sundays left before graduation. But those days are going to be packed, prepping for graduation, dresses, talking with your your friends, going out with everyone from your cohort or even other lore speakers. You have fifty-one days of downtime. To think about if you if you divide that what is 51 divided by seven seven oh seven okay 49 seven. so yeah 49 with two days floating you have seven weeks overall of retraining that you can do if you need to also uh, uh, yes please <laughs> also, uh, this was mentioned before but uh for ubato we had to do two school checks to see how far he progressed we succeeded in both of them so he should be good to go yeah, he is. He has gone through his promotionary period, and they have brought him in, and he, his sponsorship is now solid. He is in officially as an attendant. Let's well, go. No, he, hasn't, he, hasn't done, he hasn't done his mask and Sarah. Well, no, I guess he would have done his mask. It's been a year, right? You guys did yours after a year. Yeah. Who do you invite? Yeah, so he, he has his mask. <laughs> and he's one of our students now. <laughs> you don't ask. He'll definitely be my student. Cascade Burrs for life. He dies. <laughs> We're not done with the, the book yet. There is the graduation ceremony, which is a, it's a matter of role play. Um, and then more stuff to come up. God, there's so much XP they just throw at you for your tracking XP, but we're not, because it does very well doing the, uh, whatchamacallit, but uh, 
That is the downtime you got. I typed it there. Fifty-one days. Start prepping for it. I know, Lizzie, you got a lot. Yes, I know. You've only, got, you've only got seven pre-training, so you got to be very careful. Mm-hmm. That's only seven individual things. And if I, when I did my count, there was a lot of them. But keep track of it. And again, you don't have to do retraining. You can also spend that time earning mm-hmm. extra income if you want to. As far as your stipends goes, you guys can go ahead and write this into your individual monies too. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty-five gold. You can add individually to your yearly. Forty-five gold, and we're still poor. <laughs> forty-five gold. I mean, we have over a thousand gold in the party. What's the speech, Lizzie? He asked, he asked you a question and he wants you to prepare a speech. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, uh, the question is, like, what should the speech be about? Just how we've grown over the years? No, he asked you what he wanted the speech to be about. He told you. Did you say, did you say 44 gold? Did you not hear what he wanted you to do? 45. Right. 45 gold. 45. You were saying he, he says, now that you have learned what the school can teach its students, what is it that you seek to learn? What do you most need to learn about magic's connection to the world? And he asks you to prepare a small speech on the subjects at the ceremony. So what is it that you seek to learn? What is it that you mm, most seek to need learn. to learn about magic's connection to the world? Gotcha. Basically, he's asking us where we're going to start researching it. That's our next step. Mm. What are you going to research as a teacher? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Full speech. Ceremony coming up. We're going to do some downtime. If you guys, if it's not too difficult, we can even technically like do things over the course of the week leading up to it to kind of speed it along. I think that uh, I don't, I, me and Mooncap aren't going to have much to down, that much to retrain, so. Most of my downtime, I think, it is probably going to be wizard working, so, and research, so, spells, stuff like that, so. Yeah, I know Mariah and Vizzy definitely have tons of retraining to do. Same. Yep. Well, Todd, I think you got only got four weeks or so, unless you change the skill ranks, too, right, Mariah? Uh, we, I have to, because they give me nature increases, but I need Arcana to get expert, or master Arcana and all that stuff, so, uh. The best way to do it, by the way, the easiest way to do it is to start over. Like from like a path builder and start from level one and go up from there and then compare the differences. Look at what the new sheet is in path builder and then look at your sheet yeah. level twenty and mm-hmm. then look at what's different and then count each one of those as one. This yeah, one. I have to change a lot. Like for example, like one of my feats I get as a druid, I already have nature, so I increase the intimidation. But still going wizard, I'm not gonna get intimidation anymore. So I think out that feat as well. It's like uh, a lot. I'm just gonna change. Uh... Expert crafting for expert uh, for expert uh, stealth. That's it. And I'm gonna be researching. Hmm. Now you get fireballs now, not lethally. Yay! Perfect. Yes, you can only use your fireball, but you can die and use. <laughs> I, I have. Hey, to- something else to think about. If you did non-lethal uh, produce flame and it sets them on fire, it's non-lethal persistent fire. But you know, for any non-lethal damage you take beyond zero, it still counts as lethal. The fireball's not persistent, so I'm good. That's true. Does not catch them on fire. And I'm not draining anymore. Wanted, Perfect. We would have we would have been doing this next week because I expected a much more severe BPG encounter. But yeah. Oh, Lizzie, you got really well for that. Honestly, oh my goodness. I like to run the bosses, but I just want that boss to be really annoying for some reason. That boss was a big time pain in the butt. Because of the bubble. There's a lot of things. Oh my gosh, that thing was deadly. I mean, I could have critically hit and one shot a lot of people. Three to ten plus eight. I mean, yeah. I bet you could, to be honest. With your roll. <laughs> well, if I maxed it out, that's uh, 38 double to 76 damage with a critical hit. That's max. Well, oh. Would have knocked out eight in one shot. Yep. Same with Mariah. Same. Oh. <laughs> only only two thirds. Perfect. Question. So, in terms of like reach. There, there are level. there are no more checks and stuff, but you don't uh-huh. level up until the end of the downtime. So if you are going to do checks for any sort of flying like actual checks, go ahead and prep your level eight. Do not level up to level eight because you're not level eight until after all the downtime. Okay, just wondering because I want to make sure like I have enough seven weeks to get everything. I'm not sure. You'll, if be, I'm you'll be level eight essentially after the graduating ceremony. So is that before the retrain or after retraining level eight? After, after, after. later. 
Yeah, it's two weeks after all the retraining is done. Okay, gotcha. okay, so next yeah. session we're going to be level probably eight. That, yeah, next we'll session we make eight sure eight everyone's eight. Da- after your downtime is done and any checks that we need to make, then we'll do the ceremony that you love up to level eight, and then we'll be in the next book. Oh, perfect. Okay. Still that was uh, that was fast. Question. I don't know. You've been in this book for a while. What the hell are you talking yeah. about? We were in here for a long time. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it. I feel like we just turned it level does. seven and then like, well, that's because it's the campaign been like three days. Very well, and I've put a oh, lot of extra so effort for you guys. Big the game is supposed to be five 